night's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited. We've got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming. Please stand by. Tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited, we've got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming, please stand by. Tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited, we've got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming, please stand by. Tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited, we've got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming, please stand by. Tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited, we've got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming, please stand by. connected my phone, how am I going to talk to people? How am I going to call the factories? How am I going to call Bally Midway, Terry? I have to call to make sure the Williams, I got to call them and report problems and, and upgrades and I have to call Gottlieb. Mr. Gottlieb, I have, I'm a hotline they're all gone, all bankrupt. Every one of them. <sighs> gone. But I'm still here. <sighs> of course, my competitors wish I was dead! Did I make you jump? 
It's another best all for sale. Do you know this is number 25? How are we able to do this? Nonsense. And look at all the people watching. We have 41 viewing now. And it is 5.02, and we are actually going to start pretty quick. Uh, first, I have to be clever. Uh, good. They, they're coming up, so I'm okay. Uh, I think everybody can hear us. We're clipping. Terry, uh, wait a minute. Let me move Mr. Microphone away so we don't clip anymore. Chris C. says, hi, bags. It's true. Actually, I have a hoagie in the fridge that Kurt did not eat. That was courtesy of Phil yesterday. He's going to eat it tonight. And we're actually delivering tonight a Black Knight 3000 limited edition and a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pro, both brand new in the box. And tomorrow, the boys are delivering another Black Knight limited edition. Limited edition pro, not pro, uh, and a uh, Pac-Man Multicade. So we're very busy. Princess Julian has joined us. Gert from Holland, he emailed me earlier. He said, are you coming on? Tony from Canada. Cassandra, yes. Uh, it's not streaming on what site? Cause, oh. oh, okay. Cassandra, can you just verify it's streaming? It should be. Um, Biff is on. Everett is here. Uh, Tim, my Tim, he's our best customer. He buys a lot of our boards. Uh, thank you, Cassandra. Phil is here. Phil's coming in next weekend. So next weekend show, Phil will be here with his son. So we're very excited. Nick will be here. And I don't know if Robert will join it. Now, you're going to see Phil. I have the video almost done. I'm hoping to put it up tomorrow, Sunday. That Phil started, but it was a month ago. God, it was over Super Bowl Sunday, I think. Hey, Penny. Hello, young lady. It's, it's 5 o'clock. It's early. We're trying <coughs> this 5 o'clock slot. I just don't know how well it's working. Oh, you know what? It's it's not on automatic. Okay. On the telescreen on the right. Uh uh, you should actually, don't touch the menu, touch the screen, and then the thing will come up, and then there's an auto adjustment. We had it in manual last night because we were taking stills. Uh, I don't know if you watched our live video last auto, night. Uh, manual, it's, is it the top or the bottom? Uh, the bottom, I guess, the bottom one. Whatever doesn't say the green arrow. The green arrow. That, I think that's it. Ah, yes. Just say okay. Okay, that's better. We had it in, uh, we, we opened up the last Monster Bash in the world, in the box, from a dealer. Now, there, I understand somebody t uh, that said they have a brand new Monster Bash still at their house. They have it unboxed because their game room's not done. I wasn't counting that because, you know, there's people that buy brand new pinballs and never open them in the hopes that they will go up in value. So if you did that with Medieval Madness... You would you you could sell your medieval madness in the box now for at least ten thousand more. So who knows? Who knows? I remember I being offered Bitcoin years ago, and I laughed at him. I said, "Ha! That's a crock of crap." Oh God, that was a bad decision. Okay, listen. Three ways to bid tonight. We're going to start right now. There are three ways to bid. Number one, best offer. On your left screen, uh, you'll, you'll see a bidding window. You'll be able to type in what your bid is. Uh, whoever, if you bid the same amount, the, the person who hit the button first will be the highest bid. Then in a few moments, we'll start the countdown timer, and then whoever has the high bid wins it. That's, that's part one. Part two is buy it now. We will talk about the item. We will flash a buy it now price. Whoever pushes the button first gets it for that price. And finally, our new the right price, which a lot of you like. The first item up is this Sea Wolf, Sea Wolf, Sea Wolf power supply. Also works in Deluxe Space Invaders, um, Tornado Baseball, Gunfight, 
Double Play, the regular Space Invaders, and of course Seawolf. It works fine. Curdy tested it. It runs, it works, it's clean as a whistle. Um, and we have the right price. Now, here's the deal. You start typing in what you think you'd pay for it. Whoever guesses the price exactly right, one, or is $5 over it because nobody got the exact price, or $10 or whatever, gets it. So if you typed in $180 right now on this, you are not winning it. You're no, not even close to winning it because you'll be way over. But if you typed in $5, you're also not going to win it because I'm not that stupid. Well, but anyway, we are ready uh, for the right price. Terry, start the countdown. We have two people up there. Tony has bid uh, 25 Princess Jillian's bid in five just to piss me off. All right, that's okay. Uh, N24 has $35, and Tim Hoffman has 30 Who will win it? Here we go. Three, two, one. Bonk. Yes, the right price, Tim Hoffman. He guessed it right on the nose, 30 bucks. A great price for a tested one. It's tested. No, it's not a untested. Don't you love untested? Untested. Are they my twins? Oh, it's Curdy. Curdy, here's the paperwork for tonight. Let me shred it. That's the Black Knight. That's his balance. This is the Teenage Turtles. They're going to do the Turtles first. Then they're going to do that. But I suspect they're going to come in and do a bathroom run. I'm sure they'll be on camera screaming and hollering. Oh, they're going to make so much noise. My twins. Okay. Item two. The best offer. See, we're not even doing... Uh, 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 the, we haven't done our buy it now. Yeah, that's coming. Yes, it is. That means whoever guesses gives me the best offer for 60 brand new buttons. Now, here's what makes this special. I don't have a helper tonight. I'm going to see if I can recruit Kurt. Uh, but that's Kurt. Look, that's from Phil. I showed everybody that last night. Oh, I can order a hoagie for you. Ask, ask uh, Frank what he wants. We're going to share this. Oh. Fat boy wants half. <laughs> fat boy? You know, if people heard you say fat boy, a co code name Cod says Kurt. Hey, Alex. Untested and unmolested. You do remember. You do remember. I like that word, unmolested. These buttons are unmolested. Nobody, I'm the first human to touch them, actually, since they were loaded into the boxes. I bought thousands of buttons from Amusement Emporium because they got rid of the old, uh, these old switches and went to micro switches. I, we still like the old ones. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we did is we Terry, you have the ca the main camera off, right? The sound. Yeah. I'm sure you do. Okay, I think everybody's hearing me. Okay, so here, uh, we are going to have a bargain basement next week for sure. We got in more stuff that I want to get rid of, so don't worry. We we will have one next week. Anyway, these are all brand new. There's sixty of them. These are the they're beautiful buttons. They were made in the early '80s. Uh, there's two different kinds. There's the, what we call the long shaft and the short shaft. If you're a man, you'd always want a long shaft whenever possible. Anyway, we have 10 yellow long shafts. We have 10 black long shafts. This is, this is actually solid black. We have 10 white long shafts. We have 10 red short shafts and we have 10 now this is actually this lights up this is a clear dark clear green it has a nice green color that you can't really see but it does these are ideal to put in a panel and then you shine an LED right up on it and then the whole button will glow and people will think you're the greatest thing on earth. So we have 60 buttons. Uh, Terry, 
uh, is going to start the countdown. We have a high bid of 45 or no, we have $45 reserve. Does anybody want to bid on these? Doesn't look like anybody's interested. So it looks like these will go unsold. First time, actually. Terry, look at that. First time, 60 buttons did not sell. Uh, that good? Nope. It, uh, okay. I am shocked, Terry. So we will have these next week. Nobody wants them this week, but next week is another week. Okay. We have two pieces of side art, odd pieces, that uh, actually Stephen was hunting up there for side art. And one is a Donkey Kong from years ago. It's, it's shiny, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to go on well. I'm not sure how it would install. And we only have this one. Okay, it's brand new, but it's been stored for years. And it has storage lines on it. Not storage lines, but... Kirk, can you hold this closer to the camera? <coughs> you can have the hoagie in view. People know you're eating. Okay, the second one... It, that's The Donkey Kong, I think, is very old. I think it is. But it still has the paper backing on the back. Good. Next one is the Donkey Kong Jr. But this is newer, vintage. And it's not shiny. It's like a matte. It's brand new, and it looks perfect. Okay? So we have the two. Um, the Donkey Kong Jr., I think, would install perfectly. I'm not sure about the Donkey Kong. Uh, Gert in Holland is the high bid. Hi, Gert. We ship everywhere, of course. Uh, in the case of something like this, we'd send this in a roll at first class to Gert in the smallest tube possible. And I think because it's under four pounds, I think we'll be able to send it first class. I'm almost positive. Unless, Kurt, unless Gert decides to buy an 80-pound mega touch. So that would make it more, more money. We always try to send the cheapest possible way. Uh, interestingly enough, we've been having some issues shipping. Uh, we had two packages lost uh, uh, by UPS. Uh, they claim they never got them, even though the driver drove away with them and like five other boxes, two of them. And then we had uh, one, the Pinbot Mylar, we shipped parcel or uh, priority mail. And that didn't get entered. Like, the scan didn't get entered. Now, a lot of times they turn up. Princess Jillian is the perfect example of that. I sent her a tube. Priority mail. No possible. Timer has started, by the way. $35 is the high bid on that. So uh, I'll finish the story after this counts down. Is anybody going to bid more? Gert, I think you're going to get this, young man. Gert, <coughs> you've won the Donkey Kong. Thank you. Now, last week, Gert uh, won marquees and paid for them, and then he gave them to Big Fat. To, he gave them to Big Frank. I almost said Big Fat Frank. I think you're not wrong. <gasps> Kurt. Well, Kurt or, or Frank, I guess it's for his kid's room. He's going to put them in his kid's room. Okay. Thank you very much. The next item. Kurt actually found. Kurt found a bunch of stuff. Uh, isn't he great? We like my little Curdy birdie. Okay, the next, I'm going to grab the next three items. Uh, the next item is a, a game that made history in Hollywood. People went bonkers all around the globe to buy it. Um, Sega came up with this system which had to be possibly their, their stupidest system of all time. But they called it the STV system. And what they did is they came up with these cartridges, which was like great and everything, except they didn't come up with any games to put in the game system. Well, well I'll tell you something. Uh, it, it, it's definitely interesting. Big giant heads battling. 
But I the cartridge, I can't test it. It's perfectly conditioned, clean as a whistle, and we priced it real cheap. This will plug into the CTV system. I have a video showing a dedicated CTV. It's arguably the worst cabinet ever, arcade cabinet ever designed in the world with close seconds to be the trash can that Williams designed, that stupid plastic trash can, where which would ejaculate the monitor out the front. When that heated up, it would ejaculate the TV set right out the front. How about that for a design? Yeah. Anyway, then the other design was the Sega. The, another horrible Sega cabinet was the Zaxxon, um, at which had Space Fury. Oh, by the way, it's going to be on the uh, bargain basement. I just got in a Sega Star Trek that powers up, but there's something wrong with it. But it has a beautiful color picture. It's a vector game with that, the most horrible electronics ever devised in the United States, or actually the world. Um, but anyway, that would be on the thing. So, Terry, start the countdown. Nick H. is going to be getting this. Nick H. is the high bid. There's 18 seconds left. If you want to buy this for $20... This is the time. How much for a Terry TNT Auto? I don't know what that is. Autograph. We, we should get Terry a... Uh, uh, we, uh, by the way, all the guys are getting cards. We're going to actually get uh, cards. Nick, you're the winner. Thank you, sir. Uh, Nick is going to get uh, or um, a, a funky head boxers. Um, we're going to get new cards courtesy of Walter Day. Um for Stephen, um, all the boys, all the young boys. <sighs> now, I found, Kurt found this. Kurt found a lot of stuff of mine upstairs, some wonderful stuff. Awesome. He is. He's my Curdy. This is an Akari 3 that Kurt found. And I was all excited until we realized that as the thing here says, works has lines. I didn't believe it. This is real old tape. Is it working? But it has lines. It's not ringing up credits? Can you hit the start button? I don't hear any sound. It had sound. I have the volume up. Uh, Terry, do you do I have the wrong one? I have the wrong thing up. I'm supposed to be doing the solenoid driver boards. We'll come back to this. Okay, God. I need somebody to help my ass over here. Okay, I got the wrong one. I'm sorry, guys. Number five is actually four Williams solenoid drivers. And I went upstairs here and found four more. This is kind of the last ones that I have. Of course, Joe has a bunch of them, too. But I'll show you what these are. Uh, if you need parts boards, well, this board looks like you could fix it. There's nothing missing other than one transistor and two of the 6821s, which are in sockets. It looks pretty clean. And then some clodhopper unsoldered this middle connector. So that's one. By the way, this is going to be a, uh, is this a, uh, um, buy it now. So we're going to put a price up in a second. Okay, second one is missing the three 6821s. It's missing two of these. You really have to change all five. <coughs> you really should, and you can buy them. Uh, and one of these is a machine socket. Everything else is on the board. Uh, oh, and the uh, four switch line chips. But they're in sockets. It also has had the, uh, the jumpers to make the uh, switch lines uh, quicker. Uh, that's there. That's number two. Number three has everything except a couple of transistors. But somebody has been screwing around with the relay. Mr. Relay is not happy. And look. They took the center ones. They didn't bother with the end ones. Why? Wouldn't that be more work? But 
But all the other chips are there. Everything else is in there. And a couple of lamp transistors. Okay, and the final one, uh, somebody has cleanly removed the um, 6821. They put a socket in for this one, but everything else is on the board. Uh, and, and it's also been modified to, for the faster switches. So where there's four, I'm going to put a price up there that's going to have tears running down your cheeks. I hope. So, Terry, put the price up. Does anybody want the four for $65? Look at the people are rushing to hit the button. Nobody's rushing at all. No, there we go. Retro game. Oh, that's now that is the other Todd. A uh, Kurt. Where are they? here they are. Can you put them over there someplace? Because we're going to do the Akari Warriors. But Retro Gaming sent me. Uh, yes, it's on that one. Yeah. Look what he sent to me. I got another box from Retro. Hey Todd, some coffee for those hard days putting up with the crew. That's every day. Cookies, just some cookies, just because we know you like to eat. You can share if you want to. The other Todd. And he sent uh, a bunch of coffee. But here's the best part. Uh, there's five pounds of coffee in here. And then I get another box from him. And, you know, these flat rate boxes are 18 bucks. He sent another one. Now, this one I didn't open. So I was going to open it now. Now, I'm hoping it's a sack of, of bitcoins. I'm hoping it's bitcoins. See, see, Kurt, this doubles. <gasps> Look, Curdy. Oh, God, more coffee. Wait a minute. Yes! Cookies, chocolates. Kurt, look what I got for you. And milk chocolates, Curdy. And a whole bunch of coffee. This is very kind of... And a note. Another note. Thought you might be running low on coffee and sweets. I see you've been getting a little snow. Oh, God, this was that long ago. That's what we usually have up here. The Bally Monte Carlo turned out pretty nice. We love the Saturday sales. The other Todd. P.S. 3 o'clock sucks. Too busy working on garbage. So, yes, it's clear that the 3 o'clock is not a good time. Um, and we, we were debating whether 5 o'clock, and we were actually toying with the idea of doing 6. But thank you very much. This will be lunch, and this will be dinner. Well, actually, yeah, lunch and dinner, but at the same seating. That was nice of them. I'm going to show them in the regular videos, too. All right, we're up to... Curdy, please. Uh, th thank you. That is very kind of them. Now we're going to see if this works if I plug it in again. It had sound. Do you remember last week we had all that trouble? We would test a board that wouldn't work. Okay, let's see. I hear... Good. Well, let's wait until it. Oh, gosh, there's no sound. Well, we could hear it. Well, anyway, we have a $50 minimum on it. Does anybody. Uh, we started the uh, countdown on it. It's a Kari 3. They say this was the greatest of them all. Uh, it's in good shape. It's in very good condition. Shawnee, I can see you have a need for this. Doesn't look like there's any interest in our more or a Kari 3. So that will go unsold. Good. Okay, next. You people are cruel to me. Um, oh, uh, uh, John or uh, Arnold or ba Bill, Barry, oh, Gar Gavi, Garvin. What? One of those names, right? Curdy. Please get some more sleep. Clarence. 
Curdy is going to, uh, you're going to do the two deliveries after all. Why are you punishing me? Hey, uh, is Turtles getting updated? Uh, he'll do it. He knows how to do it. Okay. Can I slide out the box or does he have to open it? I don't know. Not, you're not sliding out of the box here. You're going to take it to him and let him do it. Not Jesse. The other, the, the Turtles. You're going to take it in the box there. No surprises. Are well, he may get it. He may not want it if it's out of the box. So, yeah. all right, I'll tell you what. Open it up. We'll bring it in. Let the kids can, play it for an hour. Can we fold it? Oh, like like all the other games you can sell. We fold it. Well, still like all the other games you sell. We'll just let everybody play. Let it everybody two play it. Years actually, and it's new. Exactly. actually, let me let me. We I never I fresh out, I, of, the box. Fresh out of the box, even if it's seven years old. I, I love it. I but still have a brand box. new in the box. It's in the showroom. A high roller casino. That's right. It's worth a lot of money. That's right. I just opened the box. So horrible. Oh, I don't even know what we're up to. Tin star. Where is it? Here it is. All right, now, we tried this last week. It didn't work. I plugged it in Thursday and it worked. Why so, did you take the test run at first? See if it works. I told Todd, is it on fire or not? Uh, let me plug this in. Do you have the smoke alarms turned on? Kurt, how's the picture? Beautiful. Good. This is the best game ever. No video at all. This is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on. What is? I mean, if you think about this, I mean, let me just reseed everything. Here we are. Let me play it for you. Uh, I, you know, I can't see the picture from here. Oh, God, let me turn it down. Oh my God, it's devastating. Listen to the sound person. Butler, put these on your desk. Yes, please. Uh, can you zoom in, Kurt, to the picture? Uh... Oh, Chris, th wow, thank you very much. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll order a pizza because the uh, Shawnee and... Oh. We ate it, uh, <coughs> bread. I can order it, though. Joe wants it. Do you want a pizza? Okay. That's very nice, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Somebody called me earlier. He wanted me to put Tin Star into our... What's that Tato game in the showroom? Oh, gosh. It's in a Gorf cabinet, but this is horizontal. And we need a... a um, we have to put a... Uh, oh, I'll turn down the brightness. That looks better. Wait a minute. Yeah, let, let me... There we go. Bags. This needs to spin. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think Tin Star. Joe, did Tin Star have a spinner? I, I, God, I don't remember. I don't remember. Using your good hand. I can play better with this hand. Anyway, uh, uh, start the countdown. Doesn't look like there's any interest. So I suspect this will be an eBay uh, listing. But if anybody wants to bid, there's 11 seconds left. This is one of Joe's. It says, uh, 
It, it doesn't give us any uh, note, but it says no, no. We did not meet the reserve, Joseph. Um. Yeah. The uh, Jungle Lord. Uh, yes. Tin Star. Destined for yeah. Uh, oh, you, could you? Yeah, if you could just put them over there, and we'll stick that on eBay. What's a good price, Joe, for, on eBay? One ninety nine. For two fifty. Oh no, uh, Shawnee, look it up. From the company that invented, uh, invented what, the Space Invaders. Yes, Tato. Yeah, that's, that's obviously one ninety-eight. Yes, scr scramble formation. Uh, thank you, Kurt. Uh, Are those two boys touching one another? That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. That's how Todd loves it. You know. An insulator between them. I don't bother with insulators. Todd's testing the board again. Now, scramble formation. They've packed all kinds of wonderment on these two boards. Each of these memory... Ca listen. Each one of these ROMs holds one terabyte of information. So this entire board could run the space shuttle. All things. And that's why they call it Scramble Formation. What the hell is this game? I never heard of it. Uh, the chip on it is uh, A71. No, no. There will be. Anyway, uh, it is a hard... Oh, the yeah, screen's reversed. Now, uh... Uh, I noticed if you zoom the picture in. Uh, you know what? It may be okay. Uh, Kurt, does the picture look okay? Right, right, okay. You know what? The description's wrong. It is okay. The board is okay. So, Terry, can you correct the uh, description? What happened to Terry? Could you give that screen some bigger? It's getting smaller. <laughs> can you get a little smaller, please? Uh, okay, the uh, oh. the line that's running through it is normal. Oh, it must have been in cocktail table. Oh, okay. It was in cock... Tail mode. Just say game plays fine. This was a merit, uh, I think a poker. Uh, what was the one they had uh, with the five buttons up? Uh, not Pit Fighter. Uh, they had something called Pit something. Pit Boss. Pit Boss. That's what this was. Uh, it needs a little touch up on the. <coughs> Is the oh, can you turn the focus knob on it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the good news is the board is good because the brightness must have been too high. We wrote it down originally as having an issue. Yes. Now, it says here, uh, somebody wrote on here, Kung Fu Master. I love that. So I'm trying to figure out where the Kung Fu came in. Uh, it was probably somebody like this. Yeah, I wonder what this board is. Oh, Tato, uh, they have Kung Fu. It must have been Kung Fu. Anyway, so we're going to start the bidding on the now working uh, scrambler formation, uh, which is a big surprise. Uh, this is another Joe board. Um, it does say Joe on that, doesn't it? Terry? We'll, we'll look in a minute. The, oh, Aaron is on here. Aaron Connolly. He comes and visits us. He's the high bidder. It looks like Aaron. You, oh, nope, you didn't. You lost it to Nick. So Nick is now the high bidder. We got 19 seconds. Tim Hoffman wants the board. I have never in my life seen one. Joe, have you ever seen a other than this board that you had? 
Joe's the, where we're getting the boards from. And uh, Aaron, I think you're a little off there. And uh, Terry, Terry, he bid. Uh, I'll take the eleven hundred and thirty bucks. It's okay. <laughs> I, I I think okay. Uh, we're gonna have to do it again because Aaron, I think punched. He meant to put in a hundred and thirty. There he goes. Um, I, I I would love to have the eleven hundred and thirty, and Big Joe here would love to have half of that. <laughs> it is. That was this was his. Oh yeah, put the J in. Yep. Uh, Tim is the now the high bidder. Uh, it looks like Tim, you're going to get it. One forty. I uh, know Aaron wants this one. Maybe you've played it, Aaron. Uh, Joe, you never saw one. I never heard of the game. I didn't even know what it was until I looked up the A seventy one number. There, there's some really great websites where you can get information about boards. Arcade Restoration uh, is one website, and also Mike's Arcade. Uh, we get a lot of information from there. He also makes these wonderful boards. Uh, there's three places that make the boards. I'm sure there's more. Uh, PCB Junkie makes a whole bunch of really rare boards, these converters. Uh, Arcade um, uh, Shop makes them, and so does Mike's Arcade. Uh, God bless these guys, because now we can figure out what the hell we have. Aaron, you're the winner, and you know what that means, Aaron? <coughs> it means you can come down for another visit, pick up the board, and we'll take you to Applebee's and stuff you. Good. All right. Now we're up to number nine. Bill Validator. Bill Acceptor. Now, I did test this. We Actually, we just tested it. Th this includes the stacker. So it's a Mars. Uh, it just says insert bill here, so I'm going to assume it's just ones, but it's wired to work instantly. So we plugged it into a game up front and took the bill and stacked it. Now, in this case, uh, it's a buy it now. So uh, we're going to put this up as a buy it now. Terry's handling it. We have to wait until she's done. And she's going to actually put a price that you won't believe. So there's the price. Does anybody want this working? Good. It's sold. Phil bought it. Uh, as Phil knows and everybody else who follows this, that's a great price. Um, I have a lot of broken ones. And I'm going to come up with enough where I'll put them up. All the broken ones that don't work. We just, I'm not looking at these anymore. I'm done. Uh, we have so much stuff that I'd rather pass the fun on to you guys. Fires. Fun! Flyers. The flyers, okay. Uh, we're going to do the flyers. We're up to item 10, folks. I think we're making pretty good time here uh, because we have 133 viewing. We're 44 minutes into the telecast. We have eight flyers, and these are from my collection. They all will come in these plastic containers. Astron Belt, they told me, was going to be the game that would bail me out of trouble, a laser disc game. I bought one brand new. It was a complete turd. Uh, the next one is Cool Riders, Hi. which is a wonderful board. We'll be with you soon. Okay. Uh, a wonderful game. That's Cool Riders. Um, the next one is a Crazy Climber. Now, they made several different Crazy Climber flyers. This one features the full-size Tato and the Cabaret, which I wish I had my Cabaret back. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, Kurt. There's a customer up front. I don't think he heard. Uh, Countertop Champion was one of the early U.S. game touchscreen games. Uh, it wasn't Merit that originated touchscreen games. They actually came from two small companies. Street Games was first, and I think this one was the second. Uh, an old original baseball. Atari made so many football two-players, but boy, they made a two-player baseball. Not many of them. I have one next door in great shape, but we needed the monitor and we needed the trackballs 
for other games. Now, here is an overseas Astro Fighter. It's been trimmed on the top. The, the top edge got trimmed because the, the flyer was bigger than normal. But look, it folds out. It's beautiful. It's really nice. And that, you know what? Astro Fighter is a terrific game. It's slow and paced. Space Duel. Terry, you know that's sideways, I guess, right? Okay. My beautiful little Terry. Uh, I thought an extraordinary color vector game. And do you know this was one of the first games to be closed out? Brand new. They were down to, let's see, Tempest was down to eleven ninety nine. I think Space Duel, that, that goes with it too. Uh, Space Duel was down to ten ninety nine. Brand new in the box. I bought a couple. This is the last item. It, these are stickers that you would stick on the front of your black coin door in the space, an Atari sticker. So we have $40 I'm, uh, for all eight flyers. Um, y why don't you get Kurt? Because I'm going to need him to find something else. Okay. Uh, put the uh, anyway, yes, put the timer on. Terry's got the timer counting. And then you notice there's 17 seconds left to go, guys. So this is it. Oh, you know, Tony has down a ketchup uh, flop. I stepped on a ketchup packet, and it blasted all over today in the kitchen. So that what a mess that was to clean up. Colin, you're the high bidder at 45, and it looks like you're going to get it, huh? He's in the front. But I, I need this. No, where's Kurt? you mean Kurt's in the front? Oh, okay. It looks like, Colin, you are the winner, young man. And I thank you, sir. Uh, and it's, it's nice to get the, these flyers are such a nice piece of history. They really are. And uh, it's good to have some history in this lovely world of fun. I found this final fight board. I was all excited because we got so much money for the last one. It's a Crapcom board, a JAMA. It's clean as a whistle, but it it doesn't work. And Joe, you've upset me. Just you found more boards. A tease for next week. A tease for next week. Well, let's see. see. Can identify any of them. This one is what well, actually says on it. Relief pitcher. In twenty-two channel stereo. Now, come on, Joe. What are the chances of this stupid board working? Is it, is it oh, it does. Picture of your favorite picture. Good. Well, that'll be next week. What's this one, Joseph? This looks like a Tekken. Oh, wait a minute. The card cleverly says Namco, Namco Video Game. Well, how great. That was a great description. Now, this has the edge where it could be a classics collection. Hey, guys, if this is a classics collection... Oh, uh, Led, somebody wants to look at the Led Zeppelin. We have them new in the box, though. Uh, just the Pro. The premiums have been delayed. But I got like seven Led uh, I got all these Led Zeppelin Pros, but we have a bunch of new games in the showroom. All right, what do you think it is? Come on, I want to see some names. Is it Tekken? Or is it... Uh, Oh, of course it'll work. Of course it'll work. Uh, somebody said White Star boards. Next week I'm going to have White Star driver board. Uh, I didn't have space this week. How are you doing, uh, Timmy? Good. Just had to maneuver around all the crap in the aisle. I, I, we're, we're so busy. I, I, we've never been this busy. We're actually super busy. Here we go. You're final flight, right? Oh, Soul Edge. Oh, digital set. You know what? Soul Edge it might be. You know what? I didn't even think of that. Wait, you have to give it some time. There it goes. Am I holding it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Amplifier is not happy. Yeah, the amplifier is not happy. Amplifier is super hot. What? Do you see what it is? Two-player... I don't know. Well, I guess that'll be next week. But there's no sound, and the amplifier is red hot. And these are worthless, Joe. These are golden teas. Nobody even wants these. 
Jesus, God. You bring junk. Anyway. All right, let's move on to this. Uh, this is the uh, final fight. Because now, we have, I'm going to show you what it does. Did, I think I had it plugged in, didn't I? Um, Terry, can you turn the... Uh, Uh, oh, thanks, Joe. That's what the board does. Okay? Now, this is a right price. I was so happy when I found it that I was so sad when it didn't do anything. Uh, so anyway, this is the right price. So I wrote yellow screens, but boy, they look white. Uh, maybe the brightness was lower and it looked white. Okay, so we only have one person. Now, if Tim is at the price I want or above it, Tim will get it. So far, there's no one else. Terry, uh, are we ready for the countdown? If you want to bid below Tim or above Tim, this is the time to do it. Now, there's obviously, if there's something wrong with the board, it's either the bottom board or the top board. So it's possible you guys could figure that out and move it around and check. We're going to have a winner here, and who is it? It is... What happened? Huh? No one. Oh, it didn't hit the, it didn't hit the minimum? No. It didn't hit the right price. Oh, okay. What was, what was it? Oh, okay. It was real close. Can we do it again? Yes. Okay. We're going to do it again, and Terry's going to drop the price. Oh, no, 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 just leave it. Are you okay? Did you drop the price? Okay, all right, let's see what happens now. No, we're, we should be good. Do you need uh, gas money? No, can't use the truck. It's stacked full of games. There's like five or six games in there. Five or six? Yeah, it's a shovel bowl stuffed this way, and there's Star Trek, whatever else is down the left side. Okay, Tim, you're the winner. So thank you, Tim. You're the winner. <coughs> Stuff full. Well, I know he put the Star Trek in, but I... I, I it's a shuffle in on the right. And two or three other games. And three or four other games past the Star yeah. Trek. And the, and the, and the truck is like stuffed full. So you can't fit two crated games in? No. And then how am I going to lock it to the wall for the rest? Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to take the van then. Uh, I don't know what else to do. I can't take two box games. I mean, you don't I think just take everything off the legs. It'll just be in the van. And I'll come in tonight and then take off the rest out of the Well, the, uh, the only other option uh, we would have... Um, yeah, uh, to load it all up, unload it for an hour or something. I'm just going to slide it in. I'll slide it both. Well, can you just unload two games on the end and just put the other games on the... Oh, no, the yeah, you're picking up the games. Oh, God. Yeah. I forgot All about I that. Take the legs off the one, stuff that in the back. The um, Revenge from Mars. Take the legs off of it, put it in. That should fit, height-wise. Yeah. I, think, I think it has to get scooped in. Well, we need it like this, slide it in, stand it up. If it's higher inside, then there's the door. Well, that would, then, then you could save time and not unload. Uh, the only other thing I could think of is you. we just take... If you took the shuffle alley out. Daddy, then I got, then I'm gonna have his black knight in there and it's not enough room. I put the two I need to put two things against the wall. You have two those long Well the shuffle alley is a, Kurt, could you do me a favor? Yeah, I'm not doing you, anything. Go ahead. Could could you Led Zeppelin, how much is the Led Zeppelin for? There's six. Six thousand? Okay. You got the keys for the Led Zeppelin right here? Uh it's over here. Uh, they're not um, up there. Yeah. They're not? Um, I think what we wrote on the tag, uh, I think we wrote on the t tag cashmere by the Led Zeppelin pinball has a great sound system in it. The music, even on the pro sounds great. Uh, so it's really nice. Um, um, uh, anyway, um. I'm glad you guys are keeping active on the uh, uh, on the the chat because you can see business 
is booming. <sighs> A lesser man would break down. <gasps> Quinn Mixer next. Okay. By the way, tonight we have 33 items. Just to piss off my haters. Boy, they hate it when I add stuff. You said there was 30, and now there's 33. Okay. Hi, and you know why I do that? It's just to piss them off. I'm just kidding. Nobody said anything. All right, look. Uh, Walt got another 10, tested and working, and all the coin mechs feature two titties. It's always good to start with two tits. Now, these will fit in all the common coin doors that lock in. If you have it in a bally door, the doors that are flat, you'll need four titties. If you put it in an old silver door, Williams, you'll need four, but you have to use the middle mounts. At least all the coin mechs have them. We have two. Metal with the black inserts. We have two all plastic hap control ones. These are nice. Um, we have two. <coughs> actually, I think there's more. There's four metal, all metal. All right. And two of them, uh, three of them look like they say they have cutter on them. That's to cut the fishing line when the little creeps. Drill a hole in the quarter, drop it through the mechanism, and they would read it up and down, up and down, up and down over the coin switch and put a million credits on. Eventually, the fishing line would break, but not after they put 50 games on the thing. But the cutter cuts through the fishing line almost instantly. And guess what? The little brat's quarter drops in, and they get one lousy game. Now, Tato worked around that by putting the coin error. Do you remember... Uh, Double dry, and let's see, uh, Tetris, no, not Tetris, Arkanoid. They timed it out. Yes, they timed it out. If the coin went down and stayed down too long, the TV screen would say coin error, and then that was the end of the game. You had to unplug and plug it back in. And finally, two tan ones. So, these are a, is this the right price, or is it a, this is a best offer, right? No, buy it now. It's a buy it now. That means I'm going to put a price up there. Terry's going to hit the button. Does anybody want these 10 coin mechs for $55? It doesn't look like there's any takers yet. So remember, if you want all, that's that's $5.50 each for working coin mechs. So far, there's no takers. Start the countdown, Terry. So we got 18 seconds left. To see if anybody wants these coin mechs. There's only 122 people watching tonight, too. I'm very surprised. It could be why we don't have a lot of interest in a lot of these items. It looks like, Terry, this is a pass. <coughs> we have a pass on these coin mechs this week. So now uh, we're going to go to the grab bag of boards with issues. Now, I'm sure somebody will have some interest in these boards. Um, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh, God, that's going to be in my mind forever. From Cool Hand Luke. Whew. An old movie like that still packs a lot of punch. We have four boards. I came up with four. Uh, they are undamaged. They are clean. Um, board number one is a driving game called World Rally, and it's in great shape. Um, interesting, they put a sticker on the chip. Steering wheel NH connector is installed on the bottom board. So on the bottom board... There's a little connector here for the steering plug bit because people didn't know wh why they couldn't steer the game, and it's actually down here hidden. They thought it was on the top. This is a JAMA board. It powers up. It seems to work. I've had this kicking around upstairs for ages, and I kept thinking I could get it to work, 
but I never really explored it anymore. So you can see that's supposed to be your car, and it takes off, and it's the Great Thousand Mile Rally. Uh, not World Rally. World Rally is a ballet. So you can see what's going on with it. So that's board one. Now there's two boards. So maybe if you have one, uh, you have bad board. Maybe you can combine the two. The next one's a Tato board. And I think I tested this and it was dead as a doornail. I'm going to retest it. Do you remember when we did that before? We found boards working when we tested them again. Uh, I will leave it. if Even if this works, it stays in the package. This is a fame, one of the famous uh, big event golf boards. And I was right. It's dead as a doornail. I mean dead. Nothing. No signs of life. I didn't even see a flash. Anyway, that's number two. Number three is a bootleg Pac-Man board. Because, in fact, in 2001, some clodhopper wrote that right on it. Pac bootleg bad 601. So I didn't even try it because somebody flowed solder on the edge connector, and I was just being lazy. I didn't feel like uh, looking at it. It looks like it's that standard connector for Donkey Kong or Kong Gorilla. There's nothing wrong with the board, from what I can see. But anyway, that's board number three. And the final board is the famous running gun. I've had in a box upstairs for ages. And we wrote on it in July of 08, dead. And I guess I didn't have the heart to do anything with it. And I thought maybe some... Mir well... <laughs> well, it's at the deal. It's it was listed as dead. It doesn't seem to be going any further. Now I tested this earlier. It was dead. Now. I see see it was dead seven of oh eight. I retested it this week to verify it was dead. Now it doesn't seem to be taking credits. Or maybe wait a minute, let me just It may oh you know the button stuck. Wait a minute. Well, dead. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Guns N' Roses, how much? It's on the website. I can't remember. Uh, it, that, that's the, the regular edition. But it, yeah, it's on the inventory, Terry. Could you tell it real quick? Well, a deal's a deal. I said it was dead. It's in the dead package, but you'll get it. So we have a now working board, but it doesn't credit. Did you notice? It doesn't seem to credit up. But this board did that to me on purpose. Now, anyway, retro gaming is the high bidder. You're going to get a working run and gun, but it doesn't put a credit on it. A dead as a doornail, um, big event golf, a bootleg Pac-Man, from 01, and finally a, what's this one called, uh, World Rally that has bad graphics. Start the countdown, Terry. Tim is the high bidder at 60 bucks. I, I think this board is worth 60 to $80, maybe. I don't know, but here it doesn't matter because that's the way it is. I think Walter Cronkite said that, didn't he? All right, anyway, the bidding is almost done. Retro, you're getting this deal, young man. Nope, Tim Tim snipped, sniped you. Uh, well, yeah, I think so. B 
Hi, Everett. I can see that you said howdy, but I don't get a chance to look at the comments, Everett, because we're busy with this young man. Everett likes to yodel. So, thank you, Retro Gaming with Hopper. I appreciate the, the business, and I hope you can make some money. And, Terry, just, just to show Everett that I still am not upset with him or anything, can you make me yodel, please? <sighs> I have to tell you, that was the first time I saw a face... I actually was trying to remember if I was on stage doing that. Um, Richie Knuckles made that video for me. It was the first time I saw a, a way that you could do, have an application to put face on something. And I think he did that three months ago. And it's great. It's, it's, it sure looks like I'm singing, but I'm not. Guess what? This chip is... One of the chips on the... Uh, board, Todd, is, was halfway out. I wonder if that's why there was no picture yeah. on that. Uh, uh, does it have the price? Guns, 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 guns is what? What is the price? I, I don't remember. Uh, Seventy nine ninety nine, Terry? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the premium Guns and Roses, uh, I'm waiting and waiting. They raised the price another thousand course but uh if it comes in if they ever come in they'll be it's over 10 i think i think it's 10 5 but that one's available they're available i don't know i mean i i like the guns and roses but the led zeppelin has some great music in it yeah i know that's the problem <sighs> I mean, I like the guns and roses. you know but well yeah but uh I, i'm 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 now playing cashmere when i drive home I'd forgotten how wonderful, how great a song it is, it, you know. But I, smoking those funny little cigarettes on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Anyhow. Uh, anyway, we're up to. Oh, Cassandra is already punched in a bid. We have about thirty of the Guns and Roses, so we're okay on them. Actually, we, we have, there's 40 Led Zeppelin Pros. I got a bunch of premiums sold, but they haven't come in yet. Um, we're waiting patiently. Oh, 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 Okay. Uh, Terry. Oh, Stupid Bug. It's not Super Bug. Stupid Bug. Um, where did I put that? Now, interestingly enough, I went up in my Asteroids box of boards, Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe, and guess what I found in there? I found a stupid bug and a basketball. Now, I looked at the stupid bug, and everything is intact. It even has Crystal on it, and Crystal is standing up. She's actually there, intact. She's just a little wobbly. Yes, the game rooms. Do you think they soldered it in, or do you some think some putts did it? They did. Now, uh, the processor is gold, gold legs. The socket's gold legs. Wow, an expensive socket. There's nothing missing. It has two controls. I suspect the controls are volume and pitch. The two little controls, Joe. Joe, can, just guess guess for everybody here. How many of these boards do you think you may have worked on? I realize Breakout's your big one. He did hundreds of Breakout boards. I'd probably say I probably 50? 40 or 50. 40 or 50? Now, the amplifier is intact, but the glue it had a uh, heat sink on it, one of those little things, and that's not there anymore. The only thing I see missing is the resistor here that usually gets brittle and falls off. Now, I will point this out. Cassandra 
had asked, can you bring some Bronze Age boards? They call this a Bronze Age. Um, it's a Golden Age, I think. I would call it more golden than bronze because this was the stuff that got... Right. And in this case, there were ROMs rather than these smaller chips to draw the pictures. They were real expensive? Yeah, so Atari would use uh, a smaller mass prom that was much cheaper. But that was stable. Uh -huh. A prom that size. So right. The so, so you see the extra sockets above it, empty sockets? Is there anything sockets up above it? Uh, nothing. They're just uh, spaces. But I mean, there's, there's, there's not there's holes there drilled. There's no hole. There, well, there's pads. Right. Well, that's so you they, could put... They could put proms in there. That's right. And I think our football... Yes. You're going to, the next board I'm going to show you has just that done. So this is a dual board, but they never, they never, the, the, these solders are solid. They're solid. Uh, Tammy asked where the Simpsons board that was going to be auctioned off today. That was last week. You're late, Tammy. Oh, oh, I know. J wait a minute. No, Joe, did you fix that Simpsons? I thought it was a Turtles. In the Is that a oh, no, it was a Turtles. That's right. It was a Turtles. Yeah, it was a Turtles. You know, we had a Simpsons last week. I don't remember now. Timer. Timer. Uh, we, we're losing track here. Uh, $50. Cassandra is going to get the Golden <coughs> or the Bronze Age, which I prefer the Golden Age. But uh, uh, I can't tell. Cassandra, you're the winner of our first Bronze Age board. That's a fun game. Stupid bug. Okay. Uh, okay, Mario Brothers. Curtie, Curtie found this. He did. Look. Because I'm great. My little birdie. Oh, Kurt, you got to order the pizza. You have to. Terry, can you order the pizza? 215-969-5000. We want a large upside down pizza, pizza cooked regular. Not well done. What what idiot wanted to cook well done? And burn all the burn all the taste out of it for God's sakes. I hear somebody extremely fat talking right now. Anyway, look at this wonderful thing. Children are watching. Beautiful color. It even has dust on the back. It was in a dusty box. Uh, they made this to screw on the top of your play choice game. Like that. And your play choice would either be in the Nintendo Donkey Kong or the Punch-Out cabinet. So we have a price of, oh, only $50. I'm shocked because these Super Marios are very rare. Now, this will sh ship cheap. So if somebody does buy this, I could wrap it in cardboard and put it in a flat rate priority padded envelope. Actually, it'll fit. In, I'd probably put it in a priority mail box. So it would ship cheap. We, when we ship stuff out, by the way, you're not paying for anything yet. I'm going to send you a bill, and then you can send it by PayPal. We'll calculate the shipping. Uh, if You'll never pay more shipping. It'll go out for what we told you or less. If, if it's less, we'll send you a refund. Many of our bidders have gotten money back. Yes, yeah, start the timer. Phil, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm hoping everybody's having fun. And Ryan has put eight slices of pizza up on the screen. Acid Rain is the high bidder at 65. Uh, Timmy, uh, Timmy must be driving. Oh, there's a uh, oh Paul. Cop Paul is finally. Oh my gosh, we haven't seen you in ages. Are you feeling better, young man? Uh, Phil Phil was under the weather for a while, 
that really got him good. Acid Rain is the high bidder. Nine seconds to go. Uh, it's $75. If you want this, you got to bid 80 It's about to sell the Acid Rain, and it looks like, yes, you bought it. Thank you, sir. Super Mario sign is now belonging to you. All right. Uh, Kurt has to find something for me. No. There's Kurt. Is that more Joe's stuff? Yes. Okay. Curdy, I'm going to need... I put up a Williams cash pan with a lid. All right. I need you to find one. I right, take it out of the box next door. Brand new game. Have a monster bash. I'll grab it over. I do have another monster bash. Good. I'll get it out. I have a classic edition, but it, we already got half down on it. So it's on layaway. The, that's the last classic edition in the world. But it stays in the building, uh, but he's going to pay it off soon. Okay. Terry is busy with the other thing. We are now up to, this was popular last week, but we thought it was maybe too high. So what we've done is we've come up with a slightly smaller instant wall art for your game room. You can choose to light them from behind. You can put them in your game. Perfect. Yes, if you could, that's perfect. Good. Thank you, sir. Yes. You just sold it no, no, it's going to, I'm going to show it to people. It, that's, well, th well, when it comes up, but he's going to clean it. Listen, uh, we do have a possible deal for a bunch of you. Possibly. I have an extraordinary amount of cash pans from every manufacturer known to man. A lot of them, and I'm not going to list them. I would say almost all of them do not have lids. They came out of games that we junked. We must have, I don't know, 150? I don't know. But we're thinking of doing a package deal. So if anybody is able to come, I'm not shipping these things. I guess I could, but they'd be so heavy on a pallet. But anyway, that's coming. Okay, look, Waterworld... Um, they're very colorful when we have them set up. I think they're really nice. Uh, uh, the
Aha! The batteries are dead. Okay, I'm going to have to start again. Kurt, right there in the desk, right there in the desk are the battery pack. No, uh, the double A's. Thank you for uh, that, folks. Um, I'm not sure. We've been trying to tell you. Thank you, Terry. I, I don't know where the sound went out. Uh, can somebody tell me where we cut out? Was I talking about the... I was going to show this to people real quick. They don't know the AA battery? No, I want to show them something that's special about it. Um, uh, where, where did I... Uh, Kurt, you can do sign language. Closed captioning for five minutes. <sighs> oh dear! See, Terry. Terry's on the phone in the other room. That's why nobody was There's reading a phone the comments. In the other room. <laughs> well, the lip readers had no problem. Well, the lip readers. In fairness, this was an energy ultimate lithium. The two batteries have been in this wireless mic since I bought the wireless mics brand new. Hours, hours and hours. That is a great battery. Item went out on number four. Audio went out at number four. Audio went out on item four. Okay. So we're going to start the entire auction over. <laughs> okay. So mean. Kurt, I need you to get me a... Uh, I, I, but I just need... There's only five of these. I need to get me a Surf and Safari or a, uh, right in the back, a, uh, oh, Paul, thank you, Paul. Get some pizza for my boy. We're, I'm hoping Terry's going to order them. Thank you, sir. Um, five more, five. Uh, I, I need one more of these new ones. Uh, either whatever's on the top, either Surf and Safari or uh, uh, the Food Fight one. What's the food fight one called? Cactus Jacks. Okay. So, we'll go over again. Big house. Instant pinball wall. You will get brand new when you will not get these. These are our, our knockabout ones. Uh, gladiators. Okay. Uh, the wipeout. I was telling you about the wonderful... I don't think everybody heard. Um, Steve... Uh, has made, uh, 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 Steve has made, um, the, the, the guy that collects the Gottlieb pins, I'm, I'm, I'm flustered right now, uh, w everybody calls him the homeless guy, but Steve has the big fluffy beard, really nice man, and he bought a CNC machine, I don't know if you heard that part, and he's made his first ramp is for Wipeout, it's the top right ramp that's clear, that's always broken, and he'll be selling them soon. Curdy has selected Cactus Jacks. Yes, it's beautiful, Curdy. It is beautiful. Yep. Okay. Uh, next one is, and then we're almost done. We're, we're going to keep right on time. Tony, you did send. Thank you again. Add some. Terry, did you put the order in? We need breadsticks added to the order. Duck teed off. Okay. Uh, Water World. You, Tony. Tony, you're so good to us. Everybody, why well, you guys are nice to us in Water World. So it's six. Now, uh, the way this works is. Uh, Terry, uh, can you see what the uh, is this? This is a uh, the right price. What is the right price over? Okay, so if you look at our prices, if anybody bids exactly the right price or five dollars over it or closest to it over it, not under, they will win it. Uh, 
And I'm going to start the countdown. So if you bid anything, any price you want, you're getting six. So six of these, and there's one flat price. Will anybody win? Will Gert win? Will Retro Gaming with Hopper win? Will, will Tony win? Let's see. And the bidding has now ended, and there is no sale. Terry, there's no sale. Why don't you try it one more time? We're going to give it 20 more seconds. I think that's a get dead giveaway that the, the price hasn't been met. Is there anybody willing to kick in a little more or whatever? There's eight seconds left. Kuda Sales is the high bidder at 145. And it looks like it's still an. Is it no sale? Nope, we have a winner. Colin won it. He guessed it right on the button. $25 each, but you will get a brand new one. And we put the paper in between. So they're not these, these knock around ones. So brand new ones right out of a box. Uh, the cheapest price anywhere on planet Earth, I think. Don't you think so, Terry? Um, Joe, you have so let me see a couple more of your treasures that Joe found that we'll feature next week. Well, we're going to do manuals for sure. I didn't get any manuals in, but we have to have some fun manuals. Show me one of your extraordinary manuals, not a common one. We actually may have... Did you find the Star Trek journals yet? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. I think it would probably be better to offer them. What's that big va manual? That bu is that a book on the end? Ooh, Jukebox Heaven. I wonder if... Huh? That may sell. Let me see the book real quick. We, although... There we go. Maybe we'll put this in next week. Jukebox Heaven. A... And inside, there's some flyers. Let me take these out. A lot of old classic jukebox. Let me see what the copyright is. Uh, the book I gave to Chris Frenchy, apparently we found out was worth about 200 bucks. Uh, let's see. Copyright. I haven't run across a copyright yet. Wow, there's no copyright. Oh, this is uh, Charlie Mayer's. Uh, Charlie Mayer was the owner of this book. And that dear man used to fix our Rockolas. And uh, he passed away. In, how many years ago do you think he passed away? 2005. Oh gosh. You're kidding. 16 years ago. Charlie appears in both of my old infomercials. You can see him in our original 1995 infomercial. In the 2001. Uh, you know, Joe, there's no copyright in this. There's a lot of nice pictures. Anyway, this will be offered next week. Maybe we'll do a buy it now for $5. I'm just kidding. Anyway. That's next week's stuff. We have four lamp driver boards. <clears throat> We're almost at the halfway mark, aren't we? Oh, we are at the halfway mark. Item 17. And it is... Oh, Terry, did you order the lunch? No, or the I'm dinner? The oh, can you dial it so we can... I'll talk about this and I want you to dial. I want an order of breadsticks too, sweetie, too. I'll give you the number. 215-969-5000. A large, upside large upside down and an order of breadsticks. Courtesy of our viewers. Thank you so much. Brandon Kilgore is here. Uh-oh, it says we're back to mute. Are we? Uh, Terry, is the... My, my thing... No, I'm scrolling through to see what they were saying. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Terry is controlling my screen. Uh, the, the fellow that was here helping us last week, Peter... He came up with a really extraordinary idea, and we are going to shift next week where the mega touches were. That's going to be our wall of boards and things that we'll be selling. Then we'll have a space there, an aisle, so I can get to it. 
the table. So we're going to shift the whole studio this way. That's our plan. So anyway, we have five, four um, lamp drivers. And unlike the other lamp drivers we were selling, all of these are f not only fully complete, but I, I suspect they, they work. They came out of games we were converting to uh, LEDs. Uh, in some case, this one's dusty, but fully complete, not one transistor missing, and the pins aren't bent either. Fully complete, nothing missing, and no bent pins. It actually still had part of I think it, no, no, I think that said okay, a sticker on it. Another fully complete, no bent pins. And the last one, I always liked this. This was a smaller style. These will work in any Stern or Bally pinball, 77 through 84. A really long run that they used the same driver board. The, the bigger one, I never wondered why they made a larger one of the same thing. But this is it. But this does say works, but has lights out. It said has issues, but it means it has lights out. And it was a 9 of 16. So it's been up on the shelf. So a couple of transistors are out. All right, now we're going to put a price up, right? Is this a uh, yeah. the right price? No. There it is, $75. Okay, Dent T got them. So it's under $20 a board, but nothing missing. These are not parts boards. Uh, and there's, once again, a very good chance these boards will run. Uh, these are Joe's. They go over there, yeah. I unless he has some fun boards to show us for next week. Uh, people go nuts for Circus Voltaire. It was such an awful game, but it got this great reputation. And then everybody wants it now. Nobody wanted it back then. Uh, that's a that's a yeah relief pitcher. I'm going to put it next week's show. Oh, you got Spy Hunters in there and Trons. We're, we're going to offer them when we have one for sale. Uh, I, I dislike... Oh, you do have some StarTech journals. So we'll have to get them together. Maybe we could just... I, I guess there's no chance yours are sorted. They're just loose, right? Yeah, I don't know where I, I had the first 10 years on. Like I said, binders, but I don't know where they were now. For, he says he has the first 10 years. That yeah. StarTech journals... You had them? You mean you threw them out? You know Joe is in danger of throwing all this stuff out in the dumpster. What again? Oh, oh, she's talking on the phone. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Puck Chucker. Uh, Chuck is on. He's on unmolested. That's right. These were unmolested. <sighs> I have not been able to look at the comments. What we're hoping, uh, the plan is to have the monitor facing me real close to my face, so I'll be able to read the comments and still look at you, so I won't look rude. This way I'll be able to, like reading the teleprompter, like Biden does, just so I, I don't miss a line or anything. Um, did I say that? I did. Um, Eighteen is for Cassandra again. Um, 18 is a Bronze Age four-player Atari football. Now, here's the deal. Garlic, nuts or garlic bread? Garlic, garlic bread, right? Do you want garlic bread or garlic nuts? Do you want garlic bread? Garlic nuts. I don't care. We'll get the nuts. We'll have garlic nuts. Garlic nuts. Anyway, Bronze Age. Uh, it was... It was sent to El Dorado Games, and it was returned with their sticker on it that says bad. Now, this is what Joe was talking to. Uh, instead of the ROMs, it has these PROMs. So there's two rows of PROMs. Now, if it had the ROMs, then it wouldn't have these. These would be empty. So it's a dual surface. The board is four-player, four super rare, Okay, um, it is marked bad. All right, now somebody wrote on it, four-player football locked up. All right, TNT. So we sent this to El Dorado at some point. 
Uh, 2000, it, it's got my TNT sticker, 2008. So it worked, and then I guess it failed, and then we sent it in, and then they said no, so we, we just replaced it. I found this with a Superbug board, so I was really proud of it. Uh, anyway, um, uh, we have a we have $185 on the, on the board from Brian. He's the high bidder. You know the four players are rare. They only made 900, right? 900 four players? But they made like 15,000 of the... Oh, the timer started. Okay, Brian, you're going to get this board uh, un, uh, undamaged. There's, there's one nice clean jumper on the back. Nothing broken off. And even Crystal is present. And she's happy. She's standing up. A heat sink on that one rim, I guess that gets high. Brian, you're the winner, young man. I hope you can get her going. It, nobody has uh, molested it. Thank you, Curdy. We're turning our page over. We're on page two. Page one's full. Page two is less. So we're past the halfway mark. Um, we've been selling dart flights like mad. And a lot of people don't know what they... I had no idea what the hell they were either. But dart flights were popular with dart players. I had tons of them. They were brand new, never used. They're still in the packaging from the store. I ended up buying out uh, Home Recreation. Kurt, do you remember Home Recreation? We were enemies at one time. Then I crushed the life out of them. <laughs> so mean. Well, we all could have gone bankrupt, but they went bankrupt. Anyway, I we parted friends because I went over and bought everything they had, except the pool tables. Anyway, dart flights, they were in a big box. This is it. We only counted 40 of them, did we? I think there was only 40. Oh, we got a donation? Oh, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie Hardy has his channel, too, and uh, he's uh, he has some fun videos. And he's trying to decide whether to uh, overhaul his carry last action hero or Judge Dredd. And I thought that was an easy one. Uh, oh, no, no, wait, not last action hero. Johnny Mnemonic. Where am I getting last action hero? Johnny Mnemonic or Judge Dredd? Well, it's obviously it's Johnny Mnemonic because there's hardly any out there. Everybody's seen Judge Dredd over and over. So I'm sure that won. I did not see the results. Uh, now, what we're going to do on this, um, this is a buy it now. Okay, I'm going to flash a price. Let me show you these real quick. Uh, we, we, most of them, that's arachnid. That, that's the only one. A lot of them are marked at 99 cents to $1.50 each. <coughs> there's, how many of them, Terry? There's 44 of them. Uh, there's probably a few extras. And then we didn't know what the hell these were. There's some kind of a shaft. That, and they're, they, yeah, I mean, I I get the shaft constantly, in both directions. Yeah, give him the shaft. Uh, anyway, uh, shut them. Uh, anyway, there's a bunch of them. So uh, there's I there's more than what we counted, but a lot of these colorful darts, dart flies. I'm going to give you a price. Uh, this is it. Uh, there are no more. The box, a big-ass box, is empty. And we counted all the remaining ones. Brand new, still sealed. Nothing's open. You got another warehouse we can unload? <coughs> uh, we need the thumb drive. We need the truck. Oh, Kurt, get the thumb drive for Black Knight. We're going to upload it for him. It's in this usual place. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I did order pizza and okay. garlic sticks, or garlic knots. <coughs> oh, I tried to warn her that, that your mic died five, ten minutes ago. She was on the phone booking a party. I got put on hold. I know. It's... You yeah, you said, you said you Thank you. It. No, no, it's done. I did it. That's the Black Knight Limited. That's that's it. Yeah, I just did it. I did it on the Black Knight, the one going out. Okay. Uh, I'm rolling in money. I'm I'm doing a lot of rolling. Uh, anyway, oh, let's get back to it. 
Uh, did, okay, the price is fifty dollars. It's uh, forty-four dart flights, and then a bunch of those. What do they call them? We call them shafts. And this is it. There'll be no more after this. Do we uh, start the countdown? We got 17 seconds left. Does anybody want these? It doesn't look like anybody does. But if anybody wants these brand new dart flights, uh, this is it. Wow. After selling all of them, the last batch remains unsold, it looks like. It does. Unsold, Terry. Unsold. Okay, next one. Um, Play Choice 10. I was cleverly able to test it in our punch out that we have in. So it does work. Okay, the board is clean as a whistle. Uh, everything's intact. Um, it's uh, very nice looking. Um, that's a capacitor, not a battery. Okay. I was trying to remember. So I did plug cartridge in these, and they all came up. I only have one cartridge to test it with, believe it or not. But but a guaranteed two-monitor. Two this is two-monitor one. Because I put it, yes, of course it's two-monitor. Larry is the high bidder on this Play Choice 10. Uh, 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 Miraji says, we don't need flights. I got an American... Murray Darts PCB. That's right. You can use a digital one. Anyway, uh, start the countdown, Terry. <coughs> Tim is wearing a pinball uh, a gallery. That's a place near here. They're really nice people. It's not really near. It's an hour away. But uh, they have a wonderful uh, arcade gallery. Well, it's... Uh, Arcade, it's a flat rate arcade. You pay to get in and play. He's been able to survive the pandemic, thank goodness. So he does parties and things there. So play choice 10. Count Hologram has jumped in. He's getting a new bid. So Count Hologram is getting it. Acid Rain has knocked us down out of the loop. Uh, so we have 225 from Acid Rain. We have uh, six seconds to go. It looks like Acid is going to get this board. Oh, no. Burbs wants it. Burbs wants the board. Uh, it looks like Burbs is going to get it. Uh, there's seven seconds to go. The countdown is almost done. No, nope, Acid Rain has jumped in. Acid wants it. I'm guessing that they're hard to find. I never had to look for one. But if you're converting or you need it for your game, of course, this would be ideal. Uh, 260 from Burbs. Uh, let's see, Tony. I'm look, taking a look while this countdown continues. 260. Um, and uh, let's see. 265. Okay, we got 10 seconds left. 265. Curdy uh, tracked this down. And Acid, nope, oh, nope, oh, nope. Burbs said nope, he wants it. 275 is the new bid. Uh, and uh, I'm taking a quick count, says 220. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Pinball Calorie. Marcy, you do go there. Yes, everybody goes there. Uh, and the boys do. You can see both Timmy and Tommy, or Timmy and uh, Shawnee, had their, their T-shirts on. And, and uh, Pinball Gallery, I think, was the first uh, place to offer women's leagues. Uh, Acid Rain is the winner. Thank you, sir. At 280. Women's leagues for pinball. They started offering them years ago. So now you finally have a place to go to. Now you finally have a place to go to. No, Joe, don't leave me. Joe, sh bring me over one board, please. Oh, oh. The you mean the Taurus or what? Topaz? No, Taurus, we desperately need. Is there anything we can show people? 
Oh, they love Rally X. Wait a minute. Oh, Christmas. Well, what am I going to do with that? I thought it was going to work. That's no fun. Oh. Somewhere in here, I think they have a manual for Rally X. No, but we wanted a Yes, sir. Muffler. Huh? Muffler. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. That big thing trapped it. I don't want to scream. Do I take cash on these? No, yes, 2500 He already put the rest on a credit card. Okay, and the, this and, one, and the this, Black Knight is a check. On delivery. Yes, that's... Seven, right, that's a check. Okay. It's a TNT, and the other's cash. I didn't want to say that, so I was telling you muffles. Oh, muffles. I thought I was saying something wrong. No, no, no. no, no. Okay, Joe, there's a... Thank you. We'll see you shortly. Yeah, we will be here. Three hours. You better be sooner than that. Just kidding. Anyway, listen. Creep. Taurus has to get done. The guy paid the balance on the Taurus. Uh, I may, I may have this chip. I may have a junk board. I remember I came across board one of yours next door, but it was missing chips. That's why I didn't bring it over. Maybe we'll be lucky, and that will be the one that it has. So well, that, that'll be next week. Duh, seven digit. Nobody wanted to buy five of these, so I said maybe somebody will buy one to buy three. She's going to yell at you? For what? Why? Do you want a soda or a Gatorade? Okay. Well, you didn't have to buy it. I ha I. Electronically, yes. an Intel Core processor that runs that computer. Uh, if you have any Williams 1981 to 1988 pinball machine, you have at least one of these in it. Uh, these are seven-digit displays mounted on the green board. Uh, they work. All seven digits come on. Uh, it's bright and clear, except for three. Three of them are a little... Modeled, I call it uh, bloated. Bloated is another word for Frank. I got another fat joke in, Kurt. That's the pot calling the kettle black, right? Is that what you were going to say, Kurt? Didn't have to say it. Well, the whole, it's the same jokes every week. You know, the Stooges got away with it for years. Gilligan's Island got away for it for years. Green Acres did too. And so did Friends. The same jokes over and over. Did you know Eddie Albert was a spy during the Second World War? He could have been. He was. Really? He was a Mexico spying on German U-boat bases in Mexico. What else did Green Acres do that was unique and uh, almost first time on any TV series other than George Burns? He whispered the answer. Broke the fourth wall. Broke the fourth wall, Yes. Green Acres would sometimes turn at the camera and talk to it. Or they would do stuff that was unrelated to the show. It was really neat. Very, very well. God, funny. Uh, well, Frank's medical excuse is he eats too much. My excuse, Jillian, is that I love food. The good Lord made us food, and we need to eat it. Anyway, yes. Uh, can you leave it open, please? Just leave it popped out. Somebody, this is a right price. Now, so here's what you get. You get three working all seven digits. Three of the seven digits are bloated. But if you put this in the fourth player window, if you have a taxi or a riverboat gambler, um, actually, riverboat gambler has two of these, and you need one that's out. The problem is you're looking at buying a new glass for 60 bucks, and then the 45-minute task of unsoldering the old one and soldering the new one in without ripping a trace. So this is a good solution. Here's the price. Buy all three. <coughs> oh, it's a right price. Okay, so you have to guess what I want for these. <coughs> I don't think anybody is guessing anything. The green light is on, so if you are interested... You just type in a price that you would be willing to pay for these. 
If you want to piss me off, you can type in five dollars. Up, oh, somebody bid in twenty-five. Phil bid in twenty-five. All right, let's see if anybody else j jumps in. It doesn't look good. Well, Aaron has put that five dollars in just to annoy me, but I still love you, Aaron. Nope, they didn't sell. So we have another that are not going to sell this time. But we have plenty more to sell. We're running out of time, and we only have 146 people left or watching. Actually, that's our high time point. Uh, item 22. Uh, Terry, do you think we should make this 6 o'clock now? I'm thinking of changing the time to 6 because we had almost no one watching at 5. So we're going to bump it again. I'm trying to keep the folks overseas watching where it's not crazy hour. So I think we're going to make next week 6. Um, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Curdy found another Mortal Kombat for me. I was very surprised and happy. Where, where wasn't I, Curdy? There's no soundboard. So this is a Mortal Kombat 1. No soundboard. A uh, Jillian did. Thank you, Jillian. At least somebody's got my back. Well, somebody's got your stomach, too. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Thanks, No, I, I'm just teasing. You've been on the decade. How many decades long are going to be? The best you can come up with? No. <laughs> look at my Mortal Kombat. Curdy, could you angle Mr. Camera over? Oh, look what I found, too. Uh, Curdy actually found this. I've never seen one. It's Street Fighter Third Strike, a Capcom CP... System cartridge. Look at this. It's like really weird. Is this a Mortal Kombat one? I never, but, uh, no, it's a Third Strike Street Fighter. Is that the item? No, no, this is going to be in next week's auction. I, I just happened to show it. This is Mortal Kombat. We have 115 offered. Uh, Kurt, you can't see it on the TV screen. Sorry. <coughs> the telescreen. Uh, Tilted Arcade has the high bid of 115. It is it is absolutely working fine. I will turn Mr. Brightness up. Frank, the food is on the way to feed you. No, you won't. It'll be here any minute. No, Frank, you have to eat. You're the one that... Oh! Okay, Tim is the high bidder at one and a quarter. Uh, Frank is burning. We uh, Frank, interesting left. Kurt, swing the camera over real quick. No, no, no we want to show him the computer. Uh, right over there, we have a computer that's not connected to the Internet. It's very old, and it's running a very old program for our EPS. What's the name of that ROM burner? <coughs> EMP20, right? It's a wonderful thing. We have burned thousands of ROMs on that. Uh, well, I've ha I've paid Frank to do it. Anyway, um, you have to burn, and they don't sell new ones. So, the, is there is a ROM store up the street. Just open up. Just <laughs> so mean, Kurt. Digital confusion, though, is ready to pay us one hundred and thirty-five dollars for this. So, Terry, start the countdown because I think that's going to be the sale. Here it goes. We got 14 seconds left. Oh, wiggle, wiggle the connector. Wiggle the connector. Wiggle the connector. Okay, I'm still on. I, they can still hear me. So, the timer's still going. No, just unplug it and plug it in, and it'll come right back on again. Yeah, and then they'll come right back on. 140, count hologram. Jared has jumped in at 145. Uh, I think the power supply is bad. Is it, did it come on yet? Okay, there we go. Uh, you have to push the focus button on the front. Tim has jumped in at 150. Oh, Arcade Johnny, how come it hasn't come up on my screen here? It doesn't, I only see Ryan H., with good lord. Oh, somebody's going to write me a very a strong... Okay, 160. Count. Uh, I think I th the box is back. Uh, 
if you touch that button in the round area, you just push that once. Good, thank you. Count Hologram has jumped in again. Uh, you didn't push it hard enough. My box is back. My box is back. It's sold. Cat hologram. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Terry, you should leave it up. Just can any chance you could leave it up for a few extra seconds, so I can see before you pop the next one up. There we go. It, it would be helpful to me, so I can glance with my eyeballs over, and then I can identify the winner. The winner. Count hologram is the winner, and maybe the count will be interested in. Here it is. Atari basketball. Now you can switch it. We have a new item, a Bronze Age, once again for Cassandra. Now I listed this. I looked this board over. Okay, now I'm going to show you the board. The board is super clean. Um, it's it, Crystal is intact. She's here in the corner. She's standing. Well, she's cockeyed a little bit. She's a little off kilter, but she's still attached. She drank all night. She, yes. She's She's leaning against Capacitor, Mr. Capacitor. So she is here. We need to show them so they understand, Kurt. See, can you zoom in so they understand that that Crystal is leaning against Mr. Capacitor right there. Now, if you can turn that focus knob now, the little one. No, no, the little one. Yeah, a little more. It's you, it's working. It's it's better. Good, perfect. Good. So there it is. Cassandra is again interested. Now I'm going to tell you something about the board. You may not be. So I'm going to show you. I when I looked the board, everything looked perfect. It doesn't have ROMs. It has the PROMs down here. Remember when Joe was here? He was telling you that it either have a series of PROMs or the ROMs. There's no processor. I did note that. But one of the chips here that apparently had this heat sink on it the heat sink broke off and broke off the top of the chip <coughs> so in other words the that chip you'll have to replace and joe was mentioning they put these heat sinks on it later this is not an atari uh, option they put these on us to defray some of the heavy heat because this board would be on for hours <coughs> so excuse me again uh the Resistor is intact and unburned. The 5 volt regulator, it, it, it's clean. It's clean as a whistle, but you'll have to change the one chip and maybe think about putting in that uh, fat heat sink. Uh, start the countdown. A Bronze Age basketball for $50. Cassandra is once again the only one that seems to be of interest in this. These Bronze Age, Cassandra, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just baffled. But I guess people don't want to work on them. And uh, um, they don't want to. They don't know what to do. You are the winner, Cassandra. Thank you. And uh, we will package that up with your other one. All right, we're at the right price, and it's for a Mortal Kombat pack of manuals. So what? What? Uh, some dopey clod hopper wanted to buy them. He says, "Can you make me a deal on all three manuals?" Uh, so. I, I went out and I found three different manuals. Mortal Kombat 3, it says kit. And then I and then the, the, the Cretan never had the decency to email, email me back and says no or anything. I just never heard from him again. Mortal Kombat 2, they've been sitting on the table for ages. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to sell them all. And the last one. Now, interestingly enough, all three of these are kits. Isn't that something? They were kits. So you'll get all three. The first one is really clean. Mortal Kombat 3 is very clean, other than the bent corner here. Mortal 2, the cover is dirty. But the Mortal 2 has all the fold-out schematics in it. It's thick with schematics. The countdown has started, hasn't it, Terry? So look, if you want this, you put the price you want to get. You'll pay for it. <coughs> Whoever guesses it right on the money or 5 or $10 over, whoever's closest to it, it looks like I, I'm pretty sure somebody's going to win this. Uh, I don't remember the right price. There is. The winner is Tilted Arcade at 50 Now, interesting enough, somebody's willing to pay 55 but 
were honest, and we sold it for the 50. Didn't we, Terry? We're running out of things, guys. We're up to item 25 of 33. I know you're waiting on the last things that are coming. I think we're going to have some fun with them. Item number 25, I, f I actually already forgot, a Donkey Kong. Okay, or Donkey Dong, some people call it. I found this in my box with the Super System board that we're going to be showing. Actually, Kurt found this. You found this Donkey Dong board. And I was all excited because I said, oh, my goodness, somebody even thought enough of it to put the foam here, that's the pizza, to protect these controls. Uh, is it 7 o'clock? Did the next party come yet? That's the next party, I think, Kurt. Um, that's the next party. Does he know what to do, or is he just going to stare? I'll just sit and stare. That's what I'll do. Anyway... Uh, the board powers up. It's clean. It has our sticker here. Now look, see this sticker? It's our TNT sticker from... Adam says, can you remind us how to chase up my Pinbot Milo? Yes, we're try still trying to figure it out. I was mentioning that earlier, Adam. You haven't been listening. Actually, it was near the beginning. That we have one part, U United States Post Office, and two UPS packages that have that just have no record of. And I was mentioning that Jillian had the same thing happen. There was no record of it, and suddenly it showed up the same day the next one I shipped to her showed up. There was no record of it. Uh, is that the party people, right? It is. Thank you. We need to collect money out of them, from them. It, is, it, is it 10? I think they told me 10. If it's 10 people, it's $90 cash. Done. Or plus tax if they're using a credit card. Um, anyway, uh, where was I? Okay. So Jillian's thing turned up suddenly. We don't really know what's going on. I guess we'll never will. But anyway, it looks like. Uh, it looks like, I think it says July of 20, uh, 2005. I had to put this jumper on. This is not included. The jumper, so our JAMA connector will power the other board. If you put this in a real Donkey Kong, you don't have to use that. But because we're using this JAMA adapter that we got from Mike's Arcade, uh, you have to have that jumper wire in. I like this. I, you know, Kurt, we could make a topper out of this. I, I, I could put it on top of my uh, pinball at home. Now, can you make something where we can change this to where it says Frank is? I could flip it over. See? Isn't Curdy cute? Don't answer yes. He's mean to me. I never make fat jokes, Kurt. I never insult people. I love everybody. I love everybody. That's what it does. Now, it's an interesting that Donkey Kong loads instantly. But it has a series of lines. It's not playable, is it, Kurt? I There you go. Well, Kurt, I can tell you for sure, it's got to be one of these chips. Maybe it's a capacitor, I don't know. But now you see, the timer has started. Head Geek's buying this original Dunkin' Cord on the metal tray, and he's going to get it for 70. Oh, no, Tim has jumped in at 80. I think it's a good deal because... Maybe you'll know which chip it is that's bad. It's probably one chip. Uh, I am not looking for it. I am not interested. I just want to sell this to a good home. 
Uh, as I said, it's uh, the only thing we're taking off of it. Uh, El Proto is, is bid 100. Poor El Proto. He's the fellow that is missing a box, one of my boxes. And what I'm going to do, if it doesn't turn up in the next two, two days, we're just going to do a refund. I don't know what else to do. <coughs> the box could turn up. El Proto is now at 110. So he's the high bidder. The countdown is almost over. It looks like you'll be getting it, young man. Nope, Tim is... Oh, I think I think Tim meant to say 115, not... <laughs> Terry already fixed that, uh, Tim. A, I'd love to take 1,015 for it, but... Kuda Sales is at... Uh, El Prado is 120. Uh, Paul says, the back of my neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Mike Beatty, oh, your first bid tonight, 125 and El Proto at 130. Uh, Tim is delivering a Black Knight Limited Edition with Shawnee and a Turtles Pro. And we're getting back in trade, 135 by JM. We're getting back in trade a perfect, gorgeous, we sold it to him, I think, eight months ago. A party animal, all decked out. It's beautiful. And a um, a beautiful, gorgeous Revenge from Mars. That's the Williams game <coughs> that has the television set in it. Uh, the pinball. So those two will be rolling into the show. We got into Dungeons & Dragons pinball. I sold 20 years ago. It came back. Kudo Sales is now the high bidder at 145 so you know the board's running. It's got to be one chip. And boy, if you're lucky, it's a socketed one. Boy, wouldn't that be wonderful, Terry? Uh, five seconds to go. Kuda is the high bidder. And it looks like you... No, JM snipped it or sniped it. Sniped it. They sniped that baby um, at uh, 150. So the only thing that'll get this board away is a 155 bid. And we got it. El Proto put in a 155 bid. A 160. Uh, oh, okay. It, a 160. I'm sorry. I misread that. 10 seconds to go. And Fee Fox is now offering 170. Your first bid, Fee Fox. Uh, by the way, any of you can bid by just going on sale.tntamusements.com. You can see the mark on the screen. Uh, Terry will give you some bidding money right off the bat. But we have to call you on the phone to verify you're a real person. And a lot of you have gotten phone calls from either Terry or me. Uh, a lot of you. We have almost 1,200 people registered for our auctions now. 145 views. Once you register, you never have to register again. It's locked in for good. And you are the winner, El Proto. And what we'll do is we'll work this out, so I'll just ship you the board, and we won't, uh, we'll not apply it toward the, the other stuff because I don't know what's going on yet. We hope to find the boxes. Uh, I, our, our UPS driver, by the way, you take good care of your UPS driver and your mailman at Christmas. You also feed them throughout the year, okay? And then they look out for you. Our UPS driver was off the day those two packages disappeared. They had some clodhopper kid in there screwing everything up. I don't know what he did, but they're gonna, they think they can find the boxes, because we gave him the exact measurements and weights. So that's what we're waiting on. Tony has already jumped in at a bid on one of the rarest of the rare boards. At least they were, they've been turning up. They have been turning up. But this is a three stacker. The original Street Fighter with a joystick and two action buttons, not six. This is the one featured in the movie It, part one and two. I sold a, this board, not this particular one, I sold a board years ago, and I filmed it on, it's on the YouTube channel, and it turned out that that board ended up in the game they used in the movie, because the guy was looking everywhere for this board. Well, here's an opportunity for you to buy an original Street Fighter. It will plug in to your existing Street Fighter cabinet, and you can play the original game, but of course you just use two buttons instead of six. The game is loading now. 
as you can see, as you all know, that has that. that th this was the first. Um, there's actually two volume controls. I never figured out whether there it was stereo. There seems to be an adapter for stereo sound, yes. But Street Fighter 2 is mono. Isn't that something? So one goes up. The second knob, there's no difference because that's the other channel. It's loading. There it is. As you can see, the color is beautiful. That's my most daring move. Color's beautiful. Uh, I'll turn down the brightness a little. So Tim has offered 130 for this board. It's the countdown has started. Tim is the high bidder. The voice samples in this game are laughable. Uh, I I didn't really hear any voices yet, did we? I I hear go to something. It's possible the sound would be louder if it was stereo. So this is definitely a board that demands stereo. That big giant cabinet it was in must have had two speakers, Curdy. Anyway, there it is. Tac Jama now is the high bidder. 145 with nine seconds. Oh, nope. Tony. Cla Tony! He's timed in. He Yes, we can ship. The, if you win this, Tony, we'll ship it with the outrun boards. Uh, Tony bought two outrun boards. Um, does it have HDMI? I, I can have Kurt add it on. Kurt, he's there, the Nightbot has added a Kurt. PCB junkie. Are you the PCGB junkie that makes these wonderful boards? Is that you, young man? The game that started it all. That's true. This is. But I'm curious if you're the PCB junkie. Uh, we have a purchase. Tim Tim Hoffman. There you go, young man. PCB junkie. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. Makes God love God loves this guy. I'm taking you out to dinner if you ever visit. He make you always know it's a PC junkie board because they're a darker color, which is kind of nice because I he he makes the really rare ones. This is for eight liners. I have a boat ass load of eight liners, and I figured I'll test them and price them cheap. They don't sell for much money, but you know, if you can test them, it's great. Look, oh, Kurt, I forgot I bought this. It's a Bagman. I have a Bagman board. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I'm all excited because I've. Ah. Uh, so PCB. Look, what would I do if I didn't have these boards? Thank goodness we got these guys. You can order from him. He's got them. Um, uh, well, I've been buying them on eBay because the website doesn't have a, a, a menu yet to buy. But we're all excited about being able to test these boards. Isn't it nice when I can say it works, it almost works, or it doesn't? It, untested is so unhappy. Oh, gosh. I wonder if it'll fit. Let me see. It fits, Kurt. I'm having trouble breathing, Curdy. Uh, I can't breathe. I'll have to show that to my wife. What's what? What do you need to know? It's a bag. Bags! It's a bags! Okay. Actually, I got something in the mail that is absolutely, totally, amazingly unique. I have no idea who sent it. I'm going to show it to you. Kirk, can you zoom in? It's a postcard. It's a real color postcard. This is a very old postcard. It says, This yearling cub black bear in charismatic pose is a sight frequently glimpsed by tourists and sportsmen throughout the eastern United States. Now, if you look at it, the colors are beautiful. It needs to be focused just a hair. 
because it's important because when I'm going to turn it over, the other, the little knob, uh, uh, this is important. The reason I'm showing you this, okay, uh, th that's for the tapper. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to turn this over. This just came in the mail about a week and a half or maybe two weeks ago. It's addressed to be a TNT, and it has the famous bags on it. But look. Look at the old postage on it. It's a combination of 50s, 40s, and 50s, and stuff from, I guess, the 70s or 80s. Isn't that amazing? It, get, well, it gets a little bit, you just, it's a little bit clearer. Ah, yeah, oh, it's beautiful. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that the neatest thing? Somebody, so I'll, I'll keep this forever to my dying day because it's so unique and so marvelous. <laughs> and who sent it to me, Curdy? Who sent it to me? Curdy, small things like this intrigue me. Somebody took the time to find this old postcard. Then he found these old stamps that must have been worth money before you stuck them to the postcard. But can you imagine the postman getting this? Looking at this. And then, of course, it went through the machine. They scanned it to make sure the, the postage was legitimate. Wow. Thank you very much, whoever shared that. Um, and, of course... Bags is the most important thing. Oh, Tony, he deleted your bid because he thought it was too high. Um, all right, Abe is the high bid. Now, listen, this, this is really unusual. We just got this. Uh, I actually got it from the owner of this. I left the sticker on it. This is a tapper glass with a mirror. Uh, it's, it's got a mirror... Is it mirror? No, it's just glass. I th it looked like it was mirrored. Uh, it's a real tapper piece of glass from the Stone Age of 1982. Uh, uh, the back is really in good shape except for this repair. I, I put a piece of non-fading mylar right here because the paint was starting to come off. The mylar is... is permanent and will never go bad. It will never yellow or peel. So we put that on there. We buy that Mylar from Amusement Emporium. It's the best Mylar we've ever had. We've never had a problem with it. So we had to do that one repair. Otherwise, the paint would fall off in clumps. So that's the only issue that I see. Now, if you put this on the wall or put a light behind it, it looks great. Now, this will come right off. See that sticker? Um, I had some fun with the guy. Uh, Manchester Music. That was him. He lived in Manchester, New Hampshire at the time. And he owned this place. The phone number say Coin-Operated Music Systems, Concessions and Games. Do you know back in the old days, well, not too long ago, there was a jukebox, a little wall mount on each of the diners. They're all gone, pretty much all gone. Occasionally you find a diner with one, but whether it'll work or not, the, the days of music in the diners is pretty much gone because of the cost. But anyway, uh, we're going to start the... Uh, yeah, thumbs up would be helpful on our YouTube video for sure. Oh, we have 163 watchers now. We've been on for two hours and 20 minutes. We're almost done. Aaron has the new high bid. It's a different Aaron. Uh, we have 13 seconds to go. This is item 27. We only have four more items, five more after this. 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32, and 33, six more. Paul Anderson has bumped the bidding up. We're at $105 on this marquee, uh, this beautiful tapper marquee. Um, and we'll let you peel this off. To be honest with you, I might have keep that on there uh, just for old time's sake. Paul, you're the winner at 105 Obviously, we'll wrap it very carefully and make sure it arrives intact. Uh, otherwise, we'd be really out, wouldn't we? Gosh, we're almost done, Terry. We have a Crystal Castles. Uh, I had this saved in case we got a Crystal Castles in. Um, I actually had two or three. Curdy, 
you don't have any. Kurt's making the. See, they can't hear it. You have to bring the thing over here. It's the same crashing. No, you have to put it in front of Terry's mic. Is your mic on, Terry? All right, listen. I'll take care of the glass. Come on, Kurt, come on hit the start button, for God's Sorry. sakes. I'll take care you remember the cookie jar? Uh, who here bought the cookie jar? You're probably watching now. And Kurt brought it over, and he dropped the lid. The W.C. Fields cookie jar. It was such a nice, perfect jar. Well, uh, bald Robbie, he glued the hit lead back, head back, to, the uh, lid back together. And it, you couldn't even tell it was cracked. It was actually a, a perfect. <laughs> Curdy could. Yes. Anyway. Yes, Marcy said we should fold the marquee to make sure it gets in one piece. Anyway, August 18, we tested this board, and I put it up on the shelf along with another one in case we needed it. We needed one to get a Crystal Castles going. So this worked for 100% sure worked on 818. We have no way to test it because so far nobody has made an adapter I wish they would make an adapter for Crystal Castles. They make one for Centipede. They make one for... What's the other game? Uh, uh, Dig Dug. But hopefully one. El Proto is now the high bidder on this working Crystal Castles uh, PCB. Uh, it is as clean as a whistle. And I'm willing to bet that, that Crystal is lying down. Oh, no, she's standing up, Kurt. I thought she'd be lying down by now. But Crystal's standing up. Oh, is there somebody leaving the party? I heard somebody shouting thank you. Did they uh, pay, Terry? No. Okay. It's 7 Oh, okay, okay. I just heard somebody shouting thank you. So I didn't, I, I'd like to be thanked. A timer has started. Uh, Tim is the high bidder at 170 for a working... Uh, um, Crystal Castles uh, with Bentley Bear. Uh, El Proto has jumped in at 180. Um, uh, once again, board is perfect. There are no blemishes. The edge connector is as clean as a whistle. It's never, there's no burn marks. Uh, Tari was good by then. They figured out to beef up the, uh, the power supply and connectors. So uh, it's perfect condition. Tim, you're the high bidder, young man. We have two seconds left, and it's a winner. Tim is the winner at 200 for Crystal's Castle, the game of the future. Now we are up to... Uh, oh, Kurt's coin box. I didn't get that. The, the William... Yeah, the I can't hear. Coin box. You have your. You can take your mask off. You're back with us. <sighs> okay, we will clean it. Yes, we'll show it because it's the next item. Kurt's going to clean this. It. You did make sure it fit in the Williams game, right? It does. All right, he's going to check it. This is what we're going to be. It's black plastic bottom. And a handle and the metal top. Oh, I'm going to do one this week, and I'll tell you why. I just got in a Sega Star Trek. Oh, let me turn this light out. It's blinding me. A Sega Star Trek a vector game. And uh, thanks to Tom Malloy. Thank you, Tom. He sent me the link. Anyway, we're going to... Uh, it, it works, but it doesn't work right. So I'm going to go and look at it. But uh, that decided to put that in. And we have a bunch of other stuff that we've been getting in. So we're going to sell stuff as is in the bargain basement. I'm going to try to film it later this week. That, that's the goal. I'm trying to get our new video up tomorrow. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Gottlieb Arena, uh, Phil, and... Oh, people love my videos. <laughs> oh, Frank. <sighs> Phil and Robert were here visiting. It goes back an awful long time when we actually had a lot of snow. Uh, 
uh, I guess the most recent footage was about three weeks ago. Uh, we had uh, like eight more inches on top of like eight. So we had like 16 inches. It was a lot of snow. Snow's like gone now. Uh, <clears throat> Kurt, how do we look on that cash pan? All right, I'll tell you what. We'll come back. We're going to do the Cubert. Uh, we'll do the Cubert. And then uh, we'll come back to the cash pan. So item 30. Uh, could this be the last one? Well, I, I hate to tell you, we junked one. But this is before everybody wanted Cubert. But we took the control panel off. And the joystick is perfect. It's that cockeyed joystick. Okay? Now, I didn't do it, but some clod hopper cut, cut the start buttons off. But the connector's still here. We're, we just delayed one auction. We just delayed it. Good. Thank you, sir. So, this, so it should be very easy to reconnect. you got a ground, and you got uh, player one and player two. So the control panel itself, obviously, you could put a new overlay on it. I would guess you would if it's a restoration. My microphone bent down. I was probably... Uh, uh, it says it's complete with joysticks and buttons, but there's no buttons. Can you delete delete the word and buttons? And somebody emailed you doesn't have the buttons. I'm sure you'll be able to get buttons. We have a uh, a two hundred dollar reserve uh, on it because nobody seems to have them, and it's really funny because a lot of times the control panels don't meet the reserve. And then three days after the auction, this, the sale's over, somebody buys it. That happened with a number of the um, control panels we posted. There doesn't seem to be any interest, but my Steve had offered 50. Head Geek is up to 100, so we're half of the reserve. Countdown has started. It doesn't look like this is going to sell. Tony has bid 150. So we're almost at the reserve. Is anybody going to come up with the other 50 bucks? It doesn't look good. If you want the auction to continue, just bid 55, 155, and we'll get another 20 seconds. Nobody's even bidding 155. That's done. Nobody wants. Oh, nope. Head Geek put 160 in. Oh, Frank. Head Geek has, has extended the auction by another eight seconds. If somebody bids 165, we'll get 20 more seconds on this. Will anybody do it? it? Oh, no, no, didn't sell. Oh, crap. Are we going back to 29? We're going to go back to the cash pan. Uh, Kurt, I think at this point what we could do is try all the old stuff again when the auction is over. We'll see if anybody wants to bid. We have a lot of not no sales, I think. All right, this is item 29. It's a Williams cash pan with lid. We will clean it. I promise you, you'll get a nice clean. See, this has to be clean on the side. So we'll clean it up. It'll look nice. Okay, it has the nice carry lid. The idea was you pull it out of the machine. The lid would keep all the $1,000 worth of quarters. It actually holds about, I think this holds about three fifty in quarters. You carry it out without them going all over. The good old days are gone. They'll never be back. We'll never have money in it. This, Terry, is a buy it now. <clears throat> Terry is going to put a price up of $35. Does anybody want to buy lid, a clean condition, um, newer, Bally, Midway? We have a buyer. Paul. Paul, you bought the last one, didn't you? I think Paul bought the last one we had. Thank you, Paul. That was... Yeah, actually, it was Kurt, that's Kurt's idea because we had so many of these cash pans. If anybody wants, if anybody wants to buy a boatload of cash pans from me, I will sell. The buttons didn't sell, Terry. Yeah. Okay, we're up to Gravatar. Now, here's the deal. Uh, this is another one we found up on the rack. We tested this. When we had our last Gravatar, do you remember that was about four months ago, Frank? It went, the Gravatar shipped to uh, the arcade in Oregon, um, uh, Eric's Arcade in Oregon. Uh, God, could it have been the summer? 
No, it wasn't the summer before. No, no, no. It's it Demo before Derby. The oh, before. Yeah, it was when we shipped the Demo Derby. I mean, the stuff's just flying. I mean, the months are flying by. Anyway, here's the deal. It says, has sound, picture flashes. It's not very descriptive. Uh, however, the board is unmolested, unfettered by human hypotheses. Oh, somebody wrote, now look, somebody wrote bad VG, and they're pointing at the socketed chip. Yes, yes, that's it. So we know that chip's bad. Okay. I wonder if that's the whole problem. Okay, but somebody wrote there. Bad VP. No, G, VG. And it comes off, too, whatever they, they wrote it on. Like a, Anyway, we have 340 offered by Vector Dreams. Um, I'm sure Crystal, I'm looking for Crystal. There she is. She's laying down, Curdy. She's flat. Crystal is intact. The countdown has started. Vector Dreams will be getting this board for 340 in 12 seconds. The time is running out. Runway Gene Simmons needle bot chips, whatever that means. I'm jumping in at the uh, uh, while we count down. Uh, Tim has offered 350. Um, oh, Pitbull must be talking about the the Cubert. He needs it for his band planet. Uh, you lost it somehow in the sale. Oh, Paul. Well, uh, oh, Tim. It, oh, Tim's the winner. Thank you, Tim. 150. I do appreciate it. Tim, as everybody knows, um, is our best buyer, and we really appreciate it. And actually, I appreciate all of you. You pay promptly. Uh, it's very nice. We get the boards out, and uh, um, we get them packed up. Everything will be packed and shipped uh, mostly by Wednesday. Occasionally, we have a couple that, that stray, but uh, we start boxing. We'll be pricing them tonight and tomorrow. And we'll be shipping Monday. We're going to try to ship most of the Monday. Look what Kurt found. My Curtie. He found a stupid super system. Now, the board is what we're selling. We're not selling the cartridges. I'm putting the cartridges in so you can see it works. It's a JAMA, but you have to have more connectors and things uh, to make this run. Um, uh, it is loading, as you can see. Um, I have it in a stupid Mario world, and uh, what would, Act Razor. Yeah, the Act Razor is really neat, uh, but we're not selling those cartridges. Um, it's now. <laughs> okay. The game is actually good. Um, uh, of course, a lot of... Oh. What? Oh, wait a minute. This button. You mean here? No, no, no. It's probably looking for the controller input. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Anyway, I think uh, I think we got it. Uh, we had one cartridge in it, and then I th did. Did it start? I don't think it ever started for us, because it doesn't have the right commands. Yeah, the little the little. Uh, anyway, there it is. We have 125 offered by Murrig, one of our regulars, and Terry has started the countdown timer. The light is turned yellow. This is it. You've got. 18 seconds, uh, a double Aaron, and then now Daller. Another, we got a lot of regular buyers here. And you know what? We're at 168 viewers. Um, the Super System uses a UOSD chip, a Mitsubishi, uh, what does it say? Uh, the Kaiju C regulator VCR. 
That's the board. The volume is, is must be in the system. There's no volume control on this board that I can see. That's the Mushroom World. No, not Mushroom World. Super Mario, Super Mario World. No, isn't that Super Mario World? Oh. Okay. Oh, so Dallar is the winner. Kurt, I'll that whole time to play it. I'll I'll play it again. Okay, listen. You're the winner. Uh, we will unplug Mr. Cartridge. Kurt, can you put the cartridges back in the box? Donation. We got a donation. George, thank you, sir. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Oh, the pizza didn't come, did it? No. Okay. You little sphinx. What a mean little thing. Um, He'll be happy to know Hoffman's in the bathroom because the internet is there. The internet works in the bathroom. You know, you can go anywhere. I, this is the most impressive wireless mic system of all time. My church has a wireless mic, and the stupid batteries would go dead every other week. I'd put new batteries in the darn thing. And you just saw the batteries lasted, God, a whole year? Nobody in church said your batteries were dead. Oh, they hate me there. Anyway, uh, although we have one more item, we're going to try going back and seeing if we can dump the other uh, things. Well, ice cold beer. No, wait, no, wait. I have to show them the ice cold beer, sweetie. Well, I'm going to do ice cold beer. I, I, should we do the ice cold beer or go back and let, I'll tell you what. Let's hold the ice cold beer to the end. I, you're, is this the uh, now Terry number six? What was the issue with number six? Okay. Well, guess what? Guess what we're gonna do? Make the reserve thirty dollars. Okay. How about that? Let's get rid of this board. This is a Kari Warrior three. Remember we tested the other board and it worked. It, the running gun didn't work. For uh, even marked not working. Maybe this will suddenly work. What? What did you need? I'm having an issue with this game, Ron. With the Tic Tac Strike. Try three different chips. I don't know if they're not erasing. Well, Kurt, it's working. Oh, wait a minute. Let me turn. Oh, there are lines in it? Oh, I see what it is. That's what it was. It did work. It has, uh, it has black lines in it. But it didn't do anything before. Oh, that's right. There was no sound. Yeah. We'll start the countdown. We have a buyer for sure. The countdown has started. Uh, Murrig is the high bidder of 55. Maybe it's something on the daughter board. Maybe it's the, I don't know. But hopefully you'll be able to get it. There's no no uh, nobody countering, so it looks like four seconds to go. I think we have a buyer. Well, good, we do. We have a buyer. Thank you. Now look at that. We got rid of that. Dart flights. Right here. Dart flights. We're going to try the dart flights. And Terry, uh, dart flights are nineteen. Uh, is, this was a buy it now. Drop the price to ten at, by ten dollars. I don't think anybody's going to remember. These are the forty-four dart flights, brand new. Okay, and then there's uh, a bunch of others. They're very colorful. We've been selling these unbelievably. I've had a box in almost every um, 
I didn't even get a chance to... <coughs> Thank you, Colin. <coughs> you all heard the spiel, but there's no more. And, Kurt, this is the end of Home Recreation. Uh, I'm gonna yes, the box of buttons. Uh, I'm that I'm not dropping. Yes, I'm gonna try these one more time. Was this a buy it now or, or this was a reserve? Okay, I'll do the buttons again. There's 60 brand new arcade game buttons. We have a reserve of forty-five dollars. I'm not dropping the price. Uh, that means they're less than a dollar each. They're beautiful from the 80s. There are six colors, both long and short. We have red, short, yellow, long, white, long. We have black, long. We have clear. Uh, well, they're green. They light up if you put a light on their short. And then the last one was what? What was the last color? Oh, red. No, we have red. Gosh. Curdy, I feel like a big fat fool. I left that wide open, Kurt. Maybe there was a short and long. There's five colors. Uh, oh uh, no, it's black. That's what it is. They look so close. Well, no, that's black and green. We got black and green. <laughs> is it orange? Uh, yellow, green, purple. Maybe it's it's ten of another color. Let's look and see because I, it would be really awful if there weren't sixty in here. Help me sort them real quick, Kurt. I feel so stupid. Maybe it's twelve of them. Let's see. Okay, so we have. Uh, here, help me out real quick. I see the difference. There's 10 short green and 10 long green clear. That's it. Okay? We have a $45. So El Proto is at 50 So $50 so far is the high bid. Terry's going to start the countdown. Uh, these are were made in the early 80s. They're very high quality. Uh, if you... If you have to make them a little weaker, you just slide, slide the C-clamp off and trim the, uh, trim the uh, spring. It looks like we almost have a buyer. El Proto is the winner. Thank you, sir, for 50. What's the total, Curdy? 15? Thank you. Here's a 20. And, and tell them to give me back $7. I'm just kidding. Just, you remember when the guy shows up to deliver your pizza or your refrigerator or anything, tip the person. If the guy shows up to delivers your pinball machine down two flights of steps, sets them up, puts the legs on, tells you all about how to play it, and then you just say, would you like a glass of water before you leave? Wrong! And don't scratch the Bentley on the way out. El Proto did, yes. El Proto is the winner. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, Gert. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're up to Coinmex. Coinmex are next. Yes, these are the Coinmex. Inexplicably, we've sold them at every single sale. Uh, is, Terry, is this a buy it now? So what we're going to do, we're going to lower the price to 50 So that's $5 for 10 Clean as a whistle, working fine. Five dollars. He showed you the fingers. Uh, can you turn? Change the price still says fifty. Okay, good. Oh, okay, Tony, you get them for fifty, not fifty-five. So Terry will change them. Uh, if you and and you can't beat the deal, because half the mechs we take out, Walt hates it when I tell him. Can you do another ten? Because he's been doing ten a week for twenty weeks, twenty-five weeks. So, twenty. God, we've been doing these. This, this is our twenty-fifth auction. So anyway, Tony has bought it for fifty. Uh, Tammy will or Terry will fix it. Tin Star. Tin Star. No, Tin Star sold. 
Oh, 10 star didn't sell. Okay. Uh, no, that's Street Fighter. That's, uh, uh, oh, I think he, didn't we put it over here because it didn't sell you? There it is. I see it. Um, I'm kind of amazed that a rare Tato board would have no interest, uh, but um, I'm going to throw this off the roof if it doesn't sell this time. I am. I'm going to throw it off the roof and stomp it to bits. And then I'll show you. I'm going to buy my frigging tin star. Now, now, I think $100 is a bargain. And, Curdy, I'll take a garlic nut. Not. Anyway, tin star is loaded. Instantly on. Kids go bonkers when they play this. Cassandra was the highest bidder. Can you zoom in on the picture? Uh, they, I, we now confirm that you use a rotary control to play it. Tim has bid the 100. He's gotten the reserve. So start the countdown. You can still play it, but your arm is in the way, young man. There we go. It's better than me saying old fart. I mean... Uh, Tim is the, the high bidder. It looks like it's going to sell. I, I'll tell you what. This is the best deal of the show, in my opinion. Colin has jumped in at 105. Um, uh, you're just not going to find the board anywhere. Uh, Anthony Denver has jumped in at 110. For those of you just joining us, uh, we have one more item. We went back to redo, relist all the things that didn't sell. Stan is now at one and a quarter. Uh... So we have one more item after this, I think, and then we'll be done. Uh, one and a quarter is the high bid at 70. No, we have a new bid at Anthony is now at 130. Anthony Denver, he's bought from us. A lot of our repeat customers, I, I, I've had a couple new people try bidding, but they lost. But... Uh, Okay, Stan is the new high bidder. It's a really nice board. It looks like it's running uh, on the jungle jungle hunt system. I guess you could put jungle hunt in it, but this is such a rare gate. I would think you'd be better off leaving it as that. Frank, have you ever seen a tin star in location? Neither have I. I'm willing to bet the galloping ghost has one. Doc Mack has this wonderful arcade. You can zoom back out, Frank. Uh, in Chicago, uh, it's the largest arcade in the world. Definitely have to go. And it, yeah, the place is amazing. It's unbelievably wonderful. Anthony, you're the winner. Uh, oh, no, double iron. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Anthony's the winner. I, I, no, I think it's more than that now. It was close to 800. Yeah, I think. And I'll bet you he's got a 10 star. However. Seven digits. Oh, the seven digit. We're going to do one more item then before... Uh, th I gotta tell you that uh, we we'll dropped the price five dollars. Okay. Um, uh, Doc Mac has like pretty much every arcade vi video game known to man except the one I have in the showroom. That's mine. We're gonna do a video of us playing it. I think it's one of the best video games ever made. It is a Sega, a wonderful Sega masterpiece for two people. It's a wonderful game They're called Digger. You've never seen it. you never played it. You can't play it correctly on a MAME. It's impossible to play right. You have to play the original controls. You'll see it soon. We are up to, oh, no, we're not doing it. We're doing the digits. All right, here's the deal with these because this is, this is the last non-sold item. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, why don't you delete all and we'll start over? Here's the deal. If you have a Williams pinball from 19, starting with the Black Knight, 1981, through 1988 or 89, ending with Riverboat Gambler, 
it has at least one of these in it. It may have two, three, and four. Riverboat Gamble uses two. If one of your seven-digit displays goes black, it means the glass is bad. You A, buy a new glass for 60 bucks, and then spend 45 minutes unsoldering the old glass and soldering in the new one, hoping you don't tear a trace. Or two, you put one of these in. They work fine. All seven digits come on. Every one lights up. All are bright, but three of the seven digits, because they were in a shuffle alley and left on for day and night in a bar they were on seven days a week, they got a little bloated. So the number is not as clear. Each of the segments has is a little bit bloated. Some of you have seen the bloating. and We already did that joke, fatty. Anyway, anyway, they don't look really bad. They I look please. clear. No, please don't leave. Oh, okay. Okay. Is the Tic Tacs not running? I, I don't know. There's, there's something with these chips. I can't get there. Every time I try to burn one, it keeps saying there's a problem with it. So I found two sound ROMs, unless you can find a game ROM somewhere laying around. I tried three different chips. Just Does the sound work? Oh, I guess there's no way to test. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, you need 70. It, I'll keep the change. He said keep the change. Oh, thanks. Th thanks, Frank. Oh, nice. Uh, we're doing the timer. Uh, whoever gets the high bid or gets closest to the price, we did lower the price on this, buys them. Is anybody going to win? It doesn't look like no. No. All right, we'll do the timer one more time. Nobody wants my wretched displays. And Duke Nukem, that's that's Lenny. Hey, Lenny. And Princess Jillian put in five bucks. And Phil put in 25. Phil, I don't even think you have a seven-digit game. I think he's he put his bid in out of, out of his sadness for me and my wretchedness. It didn't sell. Last it didn't sell. Well, we're now done. For the last item, everybody's been waiting. What is it? It is something very rare. It is something we actually junked. We knocked the cabinet apart. Nobody wanted ice cold beer. We have a new button to go in it, by the way. We're going to put a clear red button in here because I'm going to show you everything. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Kurt, you didn't have your pizza. How about a donut? A knot? Anyway. It gets a clear red button, okay? There's a light in there that makes it flash. The controls are, in fact, Stargate Defender controls. They're in great shape. The control panel's in great shape, okay? It's all wood. Uh, I have sold... This is my third and last one. I sold the other two on eBay and got crazy prices. I got 450 for the other control panels. Uh, as a matter of fact, the last one was over a year ago, right before my heart attack. I was at Disney World when it sold. But anyway, uh, we have a uh, $55 bid from Head Geek. I have a high reserve on it, so you guys can have fun on this because no one's going to buy it. I'm just going to put it on eBay. There's no more ice. Nobody junks ice cold beers anymore. My God, they're selling for 4000 bucks, Aren't they, Curdy? Curdy has the button. Let me see if we need a shorty or a longy. Let's see. Yep, that that's it. You are great, Curdy. So there's the button that will light up. It will glow. Wes has offered two hundred. So we at least have two hundred. Curdy's settling down for some pizza. Uh, I I I wanted to try to talk people into buying this, but I'm not having any luck, am I? But I, well, we at least have two hundred dollars offered. Kurt, two hundred is not too bad. Not even high. Head Geek <coughs> is having some fun here because he knows he's safe and he won't be stuck with it. Obviously, it's no point in buying this if you don't need it. <coughs> I need to get three fifty. I'm going to put it on Greed Bay for four fifty. Obviously, you have to put extra money on because those Cretans. You know, they take twenty percent now. PayPal and eBay, 20%. Creeps. Princess Jillian has put in a 275. 
So look, we're getting closer to the 350. There's only a few seconds left. Oh God, my crowning achievement of the night and nobody wants it. Uh, two eight, oh, it started again. Harley has raised the, raised the offer to 300, Terry. What do you think? I'm impressed. We got up to 300, Curdy. What do you think the chances that somebody will put in three and a quarter? They won't win it. Head Geek did. Head Geek put in 305 to keep the auction alive. Look at the excitement. This is it. I'm going, oh. What's going on here? 33. We got 310. Princess Jillian is keeping things alive. We got eight seconds to go. GM, a JM is put in 320. Curdy, we're still alive. Somebody, you're so close, only $30 more. Somebody has to buy this. I have children to feed. Anthony Denver has dumped in a three. Oh, Tim went to 345. Oh, my God. So close and yet so far. Quote from Dr. Smith. Uh, is anybody going to buy it with just seven seconds to go? This is it. Oh, no. 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 Wow. Oh. Thank you. Let's go back to the things we didn't sell. <laughs> what about my stupid displays? Oh, nobody, wants nobody wants my displays and nobody wants my... I realize all of you were bidding to Where keep it alive. Put it? On eBay. No. What? Put it in the barn. Put it in the barn. We'll sell it again next year. Oh God, that poor slob. Oh my God, he put all those games in the. In... We ended up getting that barn. It was very sad. So, remember, we you didn't go with us that day. It was Stephen, Jonathan, we and and, and Ryan. And that's where we filmed episode two of our reality show. I have all the footage, but I know time to edit it. That, that wonderful trip to the barn. My God. But there was a stable full, full, a stable. It was a barn, and the bottom stable, the whole horse stable, they had the door shut, was full of broken picture tubes, little pieces of glass. They shattered the tubes and threw it in there. Now, Why? But I guess they didn't. They didn't yeah, want to. Tim for five dollars. Tim for five dollars. Well, if Tim wants it, Tim, if you want it, but I think Tim was having. I don't think Tim yeah. really wanted it. I know. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick you with it, Tim. If you want it, you can have it for three forty-five. But I figured, I yeah, I figured he was just having fun. I'm not stupid. Thank you. We, but you guys kept the auction going. It was kind of fun, I guess. A little bit exciting. Nobody wants me to end. I think we had fun, but we're going to make the auction 6 o'clock next week. Look, we got 158 people watching still right now on YouTube and on the. And we have our record amount of bidders. Jillian, how many bidders do we have? Are you still on? There's Eric. There's my Eric. Eric is El Proto. So we're going to figure out what happened to his packages. We're trying to figure out what the hell happened. I, we rarely lose stuff. We actually these are the first two, and Jillian's turned up. It's so weird the stuff that disappears, and there's no rhyme or reason. But it was the driver that didn't friggin' scan it in, and we think there was some kind of a scam. Uh, I have to look. Okay, the pizza. Oh, let me show them what the upside down pizza looks like. Please don't eat it on camera. Why not? It well, drips. Before you eat, we'll say goodbye. Now yeah, we. Uh, well, I'm not going to eat. I just want to show up. But listen, upside down pizza. I never heard of it. It was on this lady's menu, Dominic's. And I never, what the, who would want to order it? But Shawnee introduced us to it. Now look, what makes this unique is that the sauce is on top of the, the, the so, Frank had one. Uh, no, you did, Kurt. Oh, I thought I saw you. Oh, God, that's a rerun. Some guy was so mad at me when he found I used like a three-minute clip in one of my videos. I already saw this clip. 
before, and I'm unsubscribing. He was furious because he had to use his eyes to watch a rerun in one of my clips, <coughs> one of my videos. I'm thinking, did he ever watch a Three Stooges a second time? Did he ever watch one of his favorite wretched TV shows, whatever? No. Oh, he, he his time is too valuable to waste watching another three three minute. Uh, thank you. Oh, Euler, thank you. you you're very generous. You did that last week, too. We really appreciate it. I think we had some fun, and we did it in only three hours and two minutes and six seconds, according to the countdown timer. And we didn't. We didn't drop. We didn't go offline except the one time when the connector seemed to crap out. But we had fun. We had fun. And, folks, listen, next week... Terry is going to mention that next week uh, the sale is going to be at 6 p.m. I think that's where we'll stop because then that means in England it'll be 11 p.m. It won't be too late. And then in uh, Holland it'll be 11. I think in Holland it's 11 the same time. And the shorter auction formats, yes, think of that. Well, three hours is a little longer than I thought, but we had 33 items. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you, Adam. <coughs> I'm talking so much. Three hours of constant talking. And um, I, I meant to make that pot of coffee, but I didn't. Uh, we got on our phone call to Bally, if you first tuned in. You can rerun our videos. I'm hoping to put an edited video up tomorrow. It's going to be very long. It's going to be 48 minutes. It's packed with fun with Curdy and Tim and Tom, and Sean, and Steve, and Scott, and Jonathan, and, oh, a Rob's um, Deep Thoughts. That, But I'm, I'm not 100% sure I'll have it done. So I want to make sure it's edited and in, in the uh, episode. And thanks again. And, folks, it's time for us to t say goodbye. Uh, uh, ter ter turn the camera to show Terry. There's Terrakins. And and Curdy, show you. You have to show you, Curdy. Please, they want to see your face. Yeah, they know what it looks like. Thank you, everybody, for your donations. Yes, thank you for. Uh, Curdy's right. Thank you again. We really appreciate it. No, none of my, none of my brother's thoughts are deep. <laughs> Paul just asked, are any of them deep? And good night, guys. See you soon. Thanks again for watching tonight, folks. This video will be available for you to view again and also read the chat. Good night for now.